Yo, yo. John on YouTube. I think you're the first chat, man. Oh, no, Jazz. You were on Twitch. Um, Bio, Green Arrow, Regful, Elric, Hex. How are you doing, guys? Ermac will be tomorrow. I've had a look at the release date. It's literally at the very end of the stream, um, like usual. So we'll probably check him out tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, it'll be like really late. <coughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, Zom B. Almost be the eleven year months. Of lurking, D. D. Bom 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 um, it's all going to be like sweet as fucking it. Unless we get like a below the buffer or a mid. Should we call it below the buffer? Should we call it like mid MMR since we've seen that video? I guess we just call it below the buffer. It's the same shit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Lurkers rise. Where the lurkers are. You know, Jester? I said your name sounds like a Souls character. Okay, I've probably just got fucking Souls on my mind. Let's let's face it. <laughs> That's probably what it is. <clears throat> I'm just hype fucking Elden Ring. And I'm just like, that sounds like Souls. That sounds like Souls. No, I'm pretty sure I said Black Adder for that, right? Elric Bright Soul. Black Adder, Black Adder. No, 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 no. Souls on the mind. That um, No Rest for the Wicked comes out on the 18th as well. I'm kind of uh, tempted to check that out. Just as a one-off stream. Like, when, when some game comes out where I'm kind of, you know, interested in, I don't think there's any harm doing one stream of it and seeing if you guys like it and I like it. <clears throat> when something does kind of just show up. I was coming in singing random shit. I'm, I've got a very happy mind, uh, TD. Um, it's a very positive and very happy place. <laughs> As I said, you see me at my worst, guys. Like I can't, I can't kind of uh, reiterate. Uh, re wait. Reiterate. There it is. I can't reiterate that enough. Um, my worst is when I'm doing competitive things. So other than competitive things, I am the most chill, fucking happy-minded person. Like, yeah. No, 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 no. <coughs> it's over there. La da 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 da. As you hook a survivor, yeah. You can request Billy now, yes. My weakest killer, though. But he is a very strong killer, so even though he's my weakest, he's probably going to do better than some of us that I'm stronger with. Because he's just better. I've always been in a good place, uh, Crazy. I've never been, uh, like, depressed or down. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I've had some down moments, like, you know, all, all of us have. Um, but it's it's few and far between. Yeah, Wesker and Billy are my weakest, I'd say. <clears throat> no, I don't think Pig's my weakest. She's just shit. She's just a shit killer. No, 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 no. We doing, Keith? I mean, it's kind of obvious, man. Like, Pig's never been strong, and all she's had is nerfs. So, like, 
eventually she's going to become the weakest killer, right? If you just keep nerfing someone who already isn't strong. Uh, phenomenal. Thank you for 32 months. Appreciate it, man. Dude, I'm fucking well high for Elden Ring. You have no idea. Uh, I'm going to be on it, like, as soon as it's out. I have something what we can maybe react to. It's, um... It's a kind of, uh... Activision confirming that people are cheating, but it's kind of a conspiracy thing, but it still might be interesting just to react to. Don't know. I saw a bit of it uh, earlier, but I didn't watch all of it. Boom, boom. Early stream when the DLC releases. I'll be streaming it minute one. So it'll be uh, probably at like midnight or something. Ubisoft is releasing the new game, uh, has such a bad monetization build into it against sadness. Ubisoft is releasing the new game. Ubisoft is releasing the new game. I don't know what you mean, Jazz. We were talking about, um, what is it? Elden Ring, and then before that, uh, No Rest for the Wicked. So I don't know what you, you. I don't think No Rest for the Wicked is for Ubisoft, is it? Is there going to be monetization in that? Is that what you're saying? Or are you talking about Call of Duty? Because that, that's what we just touched on, but like very, very quickly. Ubisoft. I don't think Ubisoft is Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm not sure. Do no 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 no. Gonna be on it as soon as it drops at midnight. Yeah, dude. Uh, I was hoping you'd be able to start it for a bit uh, to watch you out spoilers. You could you could watch me as you're playing it. Play it like play it literally at the same time. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, talking about Elden Ring DLC. Well, we talked about a lot of things. Uh, we talked about No Rest for the Wicked, which I'm curious of checking out. Um, Elden Ring DLC um, and also a React thing which is about um, Activision confirming uh, that the cheaters but I think it's a bit clickbait but uh, it's reacting to it if, if we were to do that I'm just trying to think, like look for things to react to like more organically though I weren't thinking about this and I just saw it uh, come up um, just before I came on so I was like oh, you know maybe give our take what do we think where are the probabilities of it being real is there any probability of it not being real is there a motive there you know all that shit like a lot of stuff i talk about it can move to anything it's not just dbd specific you know like motive of people is motive of people like it uh, can go to anything um my kind of judgments you know my my analysis of of certain stuff it, again it isn't just dbd it can move to anything it, it all follows the same pattern Most CS2 players have stopped playing because high rank is full of cheaters. Mm. That would happen with uh, SBMM as well. All cheaters would go to the top, wouldn't they? <clears throat> what kind of game is No Rest for the Wicked? It's a top-down Souls-like. Um, would I consider doing a playthrough of a game that I'd like? Another, you mean? I've done loads of different playthroughs. Um, yeah, I mean, of what, though? You guys need to enjoy it as well, as I said. Why do you yourself releasing Star Wars Outlaws? I'm confused what you're on about, Jazz. The upcoming games, well, DLC. Are you talking about Elden Ring? What upcoming games? All upcoming games? All upcoming DLC? I'm proper lost. Are you talking about No Rest for the Wicked? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Left for Dead 2 on Expert Realism all camps with viewers. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Main missions. You're talking about 
another game that is about to be released. What game though? You keep saying the new game and I don't know what you mean. You're keen for Stellar Blade. Oh yeah, why is that? If you're so calm, it explains what it means. Uh, oh, Star Wars Outlaws. There you go. Yeah, I missed it. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading lots of things, Jazz. I missed that one time you said what it were and I just kept seeing you say new game. Confusing the fuck out of me. Have you seen the new Tomb Raider stuff where she won't be Tomb Raider anymore? No, I haven't. What's my opinion on TCM? Massive potential. Uh, licensed. It, it being licensed has kind of squandered its potential quite a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, keep an eye on it, right? Bayonetta, Devil May Cry, and Nia. Or Nia. Nia. You have a question. You watched a video of two guys trying British snacks. Okay, so firstly, these people trying British snacks, they usually try stuff from like 20 years ago. It's very, very common for some reason. Um, and they tried... Uh, a lot of them had un onion pickle flavor. Is that really a common thing? Not really, no. Uh, the only thing that I can think of pickled onion um, was Monster Munch. Which is old as fuck. Um, I think that had uh, pickled onion. Uh, it weren't really my style. Space space raiders. Yeah, fucking hell. Talk about old shit, man. I, I remember getting that from a tuck shop at uh, high school. Like 20 fucking five years ago or whatever it was. <laughs> but that's what they do. They, they, they get... They get things like like 20 years old for some reason. Bam, bam. They probably don't know though. They probably sell them. It's actually like, let, let's think about this from the, like a business um, kind of point of view. It's quite smart because these, these places that say, oh, get a taste of Britain or whatever. Uh, they can get just really old stuff for way cheaper and then sell it to people who don't know any better and make a big profit, right? So it's actually quite smart. Alien shaped thing and claw shit. Yeah, Monster Munch and fucking space, whatever it's called. Yeah, that's some old shit, man. You can still get a Monster Munch, but it, it like you talk about some old fucking old school shit. Um, like Star Wars games, Battlefront being the best. The new Outlaws looks good. Uh, Dice pitch Star Wars Battlefront free to EA. Uh, they the declined to make the new. Battlefield. Like said, there should be a reveal trailer towards the end of the year. Hope it's not a flop like 20... Uh, sorry, 2042. Um, a reveal trailer towards Battlefront 3. Bolt, bolt. Fredor's fucking hell. Yeah. But yeah, that'll happen, um, Green Arrow. Like, it's smart, right? You know, get some really, really cheap candy and stuff and then sell it abroad, saying that it's, like, a taste of that country. It's really smart. I bet a lot of people do that. It's a very, very smart way of doing it. It'll be the highest profit margins. It's on brand for them to try off stuff. Uh, watch them drink expired Mountain Dew. Yuck. That's the point of that, I guess viewers, right? Pepsi or Coca-Cola? Um, probably Coke if I was to have one. They are quite similar, but I feel like Coke might be a bit sweeter. But I don't know. They're very similar. Coke but with lemon. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, that weren't the, uh, that weren't on there though. <laughs> you can't do that. Which would you like? Um, God, what would I say? A baseball bat or a golf club? 
Uh, I would like a house. Yeah, a house is superior. <laughs> well, I guess it's a bit different though, because it's still uh, drinks. But that were that were one of the options. I would probably say Dr Pepper's better though. Yeah, if if you, if you add that. I uh, appreciate it, sick. Get ready for like absolute insane sweat if you're new here. Because uh, the people we go against are fucking insane. I'm very opinionated, uh, freaks. And I have... Uh, I have very unique opinions on stuff. I don't I don't just follow what everyone says, so me reacting to things, me talking about things, you're always gonna get a new point of view. Um sometimes it might be the same, but it's never on purpose the same. So it does actually make sense that I, I you know, could do this uh react stuff purely because of that. And I never really thought about it, but it does actually make sense when I think about it. Uh some American chocolates used Butyric acid during production to oh god. Uh yeah, that's when they they make food last longer than it's supposed to. That's scary. It's preservatives in it. That's just like a preservative. That that's you know the clues in the name, they're preserving it for longer. Uh, artificially. God. You can get a rancid taste on some of them, can you? Hmm. Yeah. Someone suggests your idea of killers being able to cancel breaking pallets and picking survivors up on the forums and credit you for it, uh, which got the people from there mad. Yeah, yeah, they're sheeple, aren't they? Like you just say my name, and it, it don't, like it. Don't, you, what you should do when you go to these forums, you, sh you should just say an idea. You shouldn't say who it's from, because as soon as you say it's from me, they'll they'll you know meh meh no bad meh you know <clears throat> all that sheeple shit starts happening. Try some American chocolate. Uh, you might get a vomit-like taste from it. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I'd leave that. I don't want to... I don't want to have expired chocolate. What doesn't seem expired because they're using chemicals. want to stay away from that stuff as much as possible. It's not easy, though. I think it's easier in Europe than America, though. America's really hard to get away from that. Because it's, it's in a lot of things. But there will be places. Literally vomit like aftertaste. You had to taste some chocolate without any pre-warning about it. Oh god. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I've had some big YouTube vids back in the day for sure. Um, I think our, our biggest is like a million views or something. Uh, million plus. Meow, meow. And when I do YouTube uh, videos, a lot of the time it's just um, grabbing Twitch, Twitch streams. Well, not really the whole stream, but you know, grabbing like a Twitch game here and there. So take like a million views and, and you know get get them really really high views on, on that. It's uh, very humbling. It's very you know I massively appreciate that. <laughs> do do got people enjoy the content, you know. You won't move out of the country, see how November goes. Okay. For some Americans prefer Mexican Coca-Cola over US Coca-Cola. They don't use corn syrup on Mexican cola. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I ain't looked into like like massively. I probably would if I lived in America I probably would. I'd try and avoid as much preservatives as possible. Cause you could just be eating moldy food. <laughs> Which doesn't look moldy because it's preserved. Fucking scary. It definitely can't be too good for you. No do commander. And Christina. I think. Some streamers calling me out. Yeah. They do. They they have no good content and they use my name to try and get relevance. <laughs> like <laughs> 
been there, done that. I mean, I've told you about this. I don't know why you pay attention to it. It's like the most blatant shit at this point. I've said like people on Twitter, like they post something, one like. They post another thing, zero likes. Post another thing, one like. Hmm. I want to get some attention. Um, uh, tr true. Look at look at true. Um, at, at this uh, this loop. Look 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 at like, he's doing bad. Look guys, five hundred likes. Yay. Rinse repeat. Come care less, man. <clears throat> I'm just an easy target. People do it because they have zero charisma. Zero good content. And they want relevance. It's it's sad, but it's true. Do, 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 do. Zero raise, yeah. Hate to pause about me seem to get traffic. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You guys pay attention to it way more than me. Like, I used to, because I was like, dude, what the fuck? Why are people being, like, nasty to me? But at this point, I just accept it. Because what can you do? Like, fighting against it doesn't do anything. If anything, it just... I don't think it actually does anything. Like, I don't think it makes it bigger, and I don't think it makes it smaller. I think it just stays the same. So I just ignore it now. But I'm just explaining kind of how it works. Like, it, it's, it's kind of like a big tell of when someone's just not a good content creator. Because uh, you don't need to do that shit if you are. You got a hit DM because you made a tweet about loving your content. Uh, told you should deactivate because you support an ableist. Yes. That's someone who doesn't do their homework, isn't it? Mm mm. Yeah, Green Arrow, I've been slandered. My name's been slandered. Um, so if you're, if you're not here listening to me, seeing who I am, seeing I'm just a chill guy, normal guy, uh, you wouldn't know. Like, I'm painted to be the devil in some communities. Like, a proper, like, man-child, raging, ableist, racist, homophobic, um, you know, all this horrible stuff. The, like, I'm not even kidding. Like, that, that's, that's kind of the image they give people. That's why I always say, like, come to my stream so you can actually see that, you know, Sometimes when people say things with no evidence, it's because it's fake. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. People are way too easily manipulated. Uh, I've talked about this before. And it allows sociopaths to pr pretty much use people to do their bidding. How are you doing, Grim? It's sad but true. It is what it is. I won't be the only one who's uh, slandered. There'll be many people. Especially I've been doing it for a long time as well. Like I've been a street, like a full-time streamer for like eight years or something. So like eventually you're going to go through it probably. My giant Russo was like as a video game. Yep. Very nasty people. What can I say? I'm too logical for them that they can't take me intellectually, so they go the uh, slander route. If they could take me intellectually, they'd probably do that instead, but they can't. So slander, slander, slander. <laughs> lies, lies, lies. This person is is the devil on earth. Right, yeah, okay. Well, first time I've heard about it because uh, everyone who actually knows me thinks I'm, you know, a proper down to earth sound guy. <laughs> like. They'd be fucking shocking. Uh, <laughs> they'd, be, they'd be like proper shot, like, what? Is all these things a fuck? I didn't see that. Yeah, because it's not real. Mm -mm -mm. But as I say, you need to stop paying attention to it. I get it, like, if you're getting DMs and stuff, but it's, uh, it's just an oddball kind of part of society, man. I don't know what to say. Why me specifically? Um, I think it's because I'm not a sheep-like personality. I'm a bit of a leader personality. Um, I form my own opinions. Um, I don't just kind of bend to the masses. I don't just follow what the masses tell me to think. 
Um, and they don't like that. Like, say, say there's like a hundred people saying one thing, and you've got one person saying this other thing, and these hundred people are like, wow, this one person, so, and, and that one person actually has some influence as well. I think influence helps too. You know, I've got a platform to talk, right? So this, so the, this one person has quite a lot of influence. These hundred people are getting mad that this one person is having this influence and telling people that these hundred people are incorrect, but they can't address that one person intellectually, right? So they try and slander that person, so their opinions mean nothing. That's why a lot of people say, oh, another L take from true, you know, shit like that. Because they, they try and slander, um, and, and, and you know, when I do get a, a good take, which is, I mean, they don't really tell me what the bad takes are, honestly. Um, but uh, when I when they, when I do have like a, a apparently a good take, it's like a rare thing. It's like oh rare W, you know. It's all it's all just slander. Uh, it's like I'm I'm this moron who never says anything correct, and when I do, it's like wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's just demonized. This basic demonization. Uh, when you listen to me, and you can hear me. You can see I, I know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not I'm not a complete moron, um, but it's because I'm I, I'm not a sheeple. It's as simple as I don't just bend to the masses. I don't believe in ad populum, uh, which is basically if the masses say so, so it is true. No, I don't think that. Um, or Hadu, thank you for the prime, appreciate it. I'm also very, very blunt as well, and I break a lot of people's realities, which makes them uncomfortable. Cognitive dissonance plays a big part in it. Even though I'm being very, like, fair and logical with what I say, it could break people's realities, and it makes them feel uncomfortable and angry. So they get angry at me, you see. Bleed build. Possibly Saint. Possibly. It's either going to be bleed or faith. Because I've got, I've got, well, I, or maybe balanced, which means everything. Um, I've got a build I'm making at the moment, which I might put through instead. But I don't know. I feel like, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Historically speaking, the vast majority have been wrong on most things, if not all. A lot of a lot of times they have been wrong. Yeah, that's why ad populum is a logical fallacy. The majority saying something doesn't mean it's true. But yeah, this is uh this is a conversation we've already had, so. Because you you even said something what someone else has already said, like attacking a person because uh, of gaming takes shows a lot about their character. You are correct. Um, but we've already had a different person say they went for the exact same thing to the thing I'm saying right now. That's why I say you should just ignore them. Like, so I, I don't need to um, keep explaining. Repetition is good. It cements the point in one's brain. Yeah, but I've, I've fucking... I've repeated some things so many times at this point. At least I've got explanation mark buffer now. <laughs> so I don't need to explain that. The best thing you can do, the best thing you can do, I would say, guys, is um, these people who see me as this, like, you know, the devil walking on earth, you should tell them to actually come to my stream. And they'll probably say, oh, I have, and I've seen these things, which they're lying. Um, and uh, just leave them with it. Say, just just come to the stream. And even if they say, I have, just say, just come to the stream. And then just stop talking to them. And then see if they actually do uh, check it for themselves. Because that's the only way you're going to change the mind. Uh, Jazz with a gifted sub. I see you there, man. <laughs> that's actually a cool dude. I mean, if you're, if you're looking into it, uh, Lucifer was a fallen angel because he had pride, I think. <laughs> it's a sin to have pride. Do. I think that's what it were. I ain't, you know, I'm, I'm not like massive on it all and look into all of it, but I'm pretty sure that's a gist. Do, 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 do. You know, a long time ago, you will always find people that hate you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Regardless if you did anything wrong. Yeah, it's a, it's a personality clash. Like people who are like proper fake won't like me too much because I'm I'm the opposite. I don't I don't like them, right? Like if I see like someone could be like chill, right? But if I can see that they're quite fake, I won't like them. I, like, I won't hate them and get obsessed and, and make discords and everything. But I won't. I won't like that personality type. I won't. I won't want to be around it much, right? 
Uh, and I'm, I'm assuming it's the same with fake people. They won't like people being too honest. Because it probably makes them feel like, I don't know, bad maybe or exposed. I don't know. It's just how it is. Like, it's, it's a personality clash. Well, people just believe in like fake shit. It's been for a very, very long time. Can you not remember like um, trashy magazines? What talked about celebrities? Just saying like random rumors and shit about celebrities, and people were like, "Oh, have you heard this? Have you heard this?" It's uh, it's been a thing for a long time, man. It's just kind of hybrided because you know, streaming are kind of like uh, e-celebrities in a way, right? So it's it's just like it's like the same thing. Um, it, it just seems to be just a normal thing that that happens. I think gossip, lies, rumors. Um. Anyway, let's do the no no no. I, I think we're gonna react to this um like it's a cod thing. Um, potentially, unless there's something what you guys think we should uh, check out. But I might check it. Uh, and maybe maybe a ghost thing as well. Don't know. Maybe at the end, uh, watch some ghost shit. But firstly, let's see how sweaty it's going to be. Spoiler. Insanely. So. No, no, no. Uh, I haven't seen the Fallout uh, series. I saw someone say. Where was that? Hugo. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I've actually heard some more right things. So I might check it. I might check it. It'd have to be when I've got, like, nothing going on. Um, but, yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Would I react to Elden Ring videos of what? Do you mean, like, just people playing Elden Ring? Mm, that's more just watching. I can't really react to it. Yo. Wife, wife and you just finished it yesterday. Yeah, I mean, I've, I, I ain't really heard any bad things. So that's a good sign. Do, do, law videos. Not really reacting though. Like, I, you already said this. I think like two days ago, three days or whatever it was. And I, I said to you like, with the law videos, they're so in depth that I won't really be able to add much. Like they're adding everything. That's not good to react to. The things you want to react to are things you can add, right? You want to be able to add to it. Otherwise, it's just watching it. No, I won't say you saying it. I said someone. Someone said it. Why do you think almost all asymmetrical horror games fail? Because the majority of them are licensed. Evil Dead had massive potential to not fail. Um, and Texas Chainsaw has still some potential there. Um, but they're both licensed. If they weren't licensed, they, they could be huge right now. Yeah, I've seen that. He, uh, I think he went against Milena like 8,000 times or something. I don't know how he's done that. Um, it sounds really boring, but I mean, you know, each to their own. Like we, you know, fun subjective, right? I think he killed her like 8,000 times or something. Something like that, 6,000, 8,000, it's a lot. So yeah, he pretty much has her whole move set just downloaded. <laughs> Yeah, the lack of content is due to the licensing, Matthew. <laughs> I went against her a lot, but I'm saying beat her 8,000 times. Like, he's gone against them way more. I went against her, uh, death-wise, um, about 500 times, yeah. But, um... Beaten is different, you know, like, <laughs> like going against her could literally be, oh, hey, dead. 
But yeah, yeah, it took me a long time to kill her. She's the longest I've ever taken on a boss so far. It might be more than 8,000 times. It might be like 20,000. I can't remember. I saw it somewhere. I can't remember the exact number, but I remember being really high. Ten hour, twenty minutes. You know, could have made it easier. Could have used a great rune. Could have done that kind of stuff. But I didn't want to do that. It was it was fun having the challenge. It made the um, the win way more euphoric as well. It weren't just like oh there you go I've won. Like it was a, a very euphoric one win. So worth. Or really um. Uh, Fuffy? Well, the game's massively different now. I go against, like... I might as well be going in, like, fucking, um... Comp tryouts, a lot of the games. Like, they... Like, actually unbalanced comp tryouts. Because the, uh... The people I'm going against are, like, super good. Um... And they're actually bringing, like, broken shit on top of it, so... Yeah, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Longest you ever took on a boss was pre-nerf Radon. Yeah, pre-nerf Radon was way better, weren't it? They massively nerfed him. That's why you need to get on the DLC ASAP, because there's probably going to be some really strong shit on the DLC, which they'll nerf uh, further down the road, so you want to get on that DLC ASAP if you want the, the true challenge. Did they pick Ure? Lucky bastards. This is like one of the best uh, survivor maps. This is a map they always pick, because it's just so good. Uh, I think I fucked that. It's first game, though. Yeah, I did. She knew I wanted. Knows he's out where the pallet is. Good. We got the shimmy. Yeah, this game sway as fuck now. I've said before, it's the furthest away from party game it's ever been. At least if you're in the top bracket. If you're not in the top bracket, maybe it's the same, I don't know. But, yeah, top bracket is the, uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, if I'm honest. Look like I have agitation. Oh, fuck me. Okay, look at our agitation, holy shit. Didn't have agitation there, that was a free, uh, a free uh, go fuck yourself killer. Look at our bamboozle here. Super quick. And we should catch her here. Nice. So, one and two are our targets. We're going for just two people, it seems to be the most kind of consistent way of getting wins. Uh, it weren't for a bit, and then all of a sudden, the survivors got even better. And now, it seems like I need to do this. So yeah, one, one and two hour targets. She definitely has Shrimp Burst. Nail her. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. If we spend too long on her, we detach the one or two. Yeah, fuck it. She's out of loop, which has no mind game. We don't want to deal with them. Ooh. Another, man, another no mind game loop. Nice. That's because of the recovery. So that's one. So she has no scratch marks. Got her. Good, good, good. Gonna finish that, yeah. 
So one's on death hook, which is good. Not someone more over here to the left. Not smart. Not smart at all. We can't just tunnel vision her though, it depends where she goes. She might go somewhere really strong. I didn't want that, that's a massive stun. Yikes. But this is not gonna be good for her, will it? Mm. Yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll leave her. If she if she made that right, I would have left, because uh, we'll end up just getting a draw at best if I kept going for her. Oh, she's out. We need two. No one. Nah, they nerfed save best for last. They've nerfed loads of uh, good killer perks. number four really I'm assuming they're all over here right I don't think I heard anyone in that other building so this is gonna be nearly complete yep that's free we don't care about free we want to oh actually free can give us a pain res we can go for it. we can go for a this incentive yeah this incentive We've got an agitation so we can't finish that in time. I'll be able to get over it quickly. And we've got an incentive to do this as well. So we're going to get a pain res, which is going to hit someone. And then we also got a pop as well. But it depends which one we want to get. Mm, no, I don't care about that one. These are closer. I care about these more. Hello. Okay. Hopefully they think I'm still there so I can get a pop and I'll come back. Very good. And they knew I went. Very interesting. Don't believe the stealth here. Didn't even think twice about it, did you? So she's going to have it off the record. Oh no, she's out of broken. Uh, get rid of that. Three or two is what we want. We already hit that with pop. Should be here, right? That should be a hit. Nice distance, very nice. We're not going to get a pain res off this, sadly, but we will get a pop. Get rid of this vault completely. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Body block. That should be a hit, right? Yeah. Distance him. And now we get agitation. Put her, put her over here, actually, like, closer. Oh, hello. Just put her over here. Agitation allows me to kind of play somewhere I want, so I can strategically even use the hooks. That's why I use it. Not just pain res. So now I'm in the middle of these three gens, you see. And we get a pop, and we alleviate the pressure. She has sprint burst. We don't care about that. They're going to go for the save. She's already healed. All right, number two is on defo, but she could have DS. So let's go for number three, maybe, and just see where she's running. We have strong shit. Oh, more broken shit. Uh, yeah, sure. Go on, just put it down. Cool, yeah. Uh, uh. <coughs> She don't have spring burst anymore. She's got to a safe pallet though. Ooh. They finished that, that's fine. We don't care about that one, as I said. That'll be the um That'll be the DS girl though. 
number two. And number two is on death hook. She should be around here. Because she just finished this gen. The other girl might know and come try and heal her. She should be around here. that instantly. It's map, man. Right, she'll get a pop of her. We're gonna bring her over there to that one. Number two's still on death hook. If number two and number three go to that gen, even though that chase is probably as fast as you can do it, they could probably finish that, even though it was nearly off as well. It looks like only one's on it, though. Yeah, it's fine. What about that? Ah, uh, they're on this now. Let's get rid of the vault. And force... Maybe force the god palette? That's the idea. That's a hit. We're still looking for number two. Actually, number two or three now. Doesn't really matter. She still has the god pallet. I don't have time. These two could be rushing this as well. We're injured. Oh no, they're here. Yeah, don't really matter which one I go for. Block her. Get the distance. Alright, I need to down her really quick because them two could just run to that next one. But I do have a lot for it. She has an LT here, which can take a while. But I have this. And now what? Now she just has a 50 50. That all just in case. Right. We get agitation so we can get to a hook quickly because we need that. Every every little second counts at this level. Oh god. The fuck I've had you. Didn't want to put it backwards, I wanted to go forwards so I can get close and wild carrying her. And Aji should have given us enough time, right? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Only just though. Only just so you can see without Aji we would have booked. Hello. She had sprint burst ready, so it didn't matter. Oh, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, perfect. Perfect sprint burst. Yeah. They just did that gen and she disappeared. No, here she is. Best man game you can do that. If they leave it uh, closed. I think this is a better one to take to, looking at where the exit is. So now imagine if I didn't even have Adje to get to a hook in time. They just finished the gem, right? I'd take too long walking to the hook. Huh. I don't use gen or add-on because I can't use other add-ons. Uh, sorry, I can't use other... Oh, it's add-on, you said. Uh, this is actually um, uh, an add-on combo that they use in comp. And I was, I was kind of curious and I, I started using it and I could see kind of why. Play perfectly, you can scare a 4k. It's DBD, man. DBD, when you go against good survivors, you're playing a game you're supposed to lose. So that's why if you do a lot of really good things back to back to back, you're still on the back foot into the very, very end. It's just how it is, man. We're going against actual good players. We're at the top MMRs. This is what uh, you have to expect when you get there. If you get there. Um, but you can see why I have agitation, for example, right? Every second counts. I'll do one more. With, uh, Riv.
Yeah, as soon as the gen's done as well, both games get to 99 to ASAP. Like, survivors don't just walk around doing nothing. I've been playing at top MMR for, for about a year at this point, love. Uh, like, as soon as it was introduced into the game, I got there within, like, that first month. And then I've just not stopped being there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's why my vision of the game is so different to a lot of the masses, because a lot of the masses won't be at the top. Like on any game, the, the masses are never at the top. It's only the like 1% or whatever. Ermac will probably be tomorrow. Um, I did check the, uh, I did check him out though in the combat cast. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow. Though I do have a sponsor thing to get sorted. And doing that when I'm on PlayStation might be a bit... We'll see. Because uh, we got a new sponsor for tomorrow. What I need to uh, get all set up. That match was really rough. That's every match. The only matches I don't have like that are when I go below the buffer. Experience what buffer. It's the only matches I have what aren't like that. Every match is like that. That's why a lot of people don't get my takes, because they don't have this experience. <clears throat> Buff DS, yeah. <laughs> exactly right. Uh, different Charlie. I get I get some really good sponsors though. I've I've met uh that's one thing I, I have I've done quite well, I guess. I've I've met some good connections through my time streaming. But I've been here for eight years, man. Like I, I've I've been here a long time and I've been sponsored by many, many, many things. So I look stressful. Nah, it's normal. This will be the same. Get a quick hit on him, but he's out here, so let's get rid of the god pilot. Didn't want him to stun me. But I kept in stealth. Going back on himself, smart. Get rid of that just one more time. Now we can body block him before he gets to something. There we go, that should be a down. There's nowhere I can go. A lot of time when you go against some good survivors, you basically need to make it where they actually have no option. <laughs> like, they, they can't actually play the game, you know? Mm -hmm. There we go. That should hit them, unless I hit a different one. Nice, it's that one. Someone were here, obviously. I don't know where, though. Huh. I don't have time. They're gonna finish a gen as I'm doing that. I need to leave. Not there. This one. There we go. Now they got this broken loop, but I have bamboozled, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna try and make it so I can't come through. There we go. She has live, so it doesn't matter. I'm ready to push over here. Yeah, sprint burst, perfect perk. She had the perfect perk, he is the perfect perk. Can maybe get a beer to the drop. And then back through. Nope. Window. He went to the right. Okay, that's a free hit. Can't do all about it. Obviously, he's not going to pre drop. He's going to get the distance instead. Good. Um, nice. If I can block this, there we go. No, that's annoying. They do that tech because you can't actually break something when they do that. If you didn't know. You have to like mash space to break it. Maybe that's going to be two gens, maybe three. Uh, who was the first person we got? It was number four, right? One four. Ah! 
we finish that. She's here, right? We don't care too much for her. We can injure her or whatever, but she's not really our target. She might get that window. It's a medium, though. Yeah, don't get it because of my add on. The add on gives you like a split, like a tiny bit more time uh, of faster reveal. This is a guy. We can body block him here. Nah, I messed that up. We'll get a pop down. We've got one and four. <coughs> one and four at the moment. So he's in a bit of a dead zone here, if I remember correctly. I think we've dead zoned this. Right? That's fine. No life. Boom. I can hear they're on that gen to my left. It's going to get popped soon. The question is, do I, do I go for it? Or do I push for this guy? I feel like I push for this guy. Back again. He's gonna go for this. Small movement. I think we got rid of this. Oh, if I were gonna go for an attack. Pick him up before he gets there. I told you they were gonna finish that. Alright, four is on death hook. We might be at one gen. Possible. What is this on? So they've started on that a bit. Who is that? We don't care. You know, one gen, yeah, I told you. Yep. He's gonna go for the save with him. Can we even stop that? Are they on that? Nope. Are they on that? Nope. We're probably just done with this guy, honestly. To maybe get a draw. Oh, I got here in time. Okay, we go for a slug tunnel. This is probably the best thing we can do. He has dead art, remember. Let's go for a body block there. Now we need to open him to have DS. And we need to go for number one. Because going for number two right now is kind of pointless. He's literally at the very start. I've got one gen left. That's the guy we want. We've got a good pop there too. Just to pick that guy up, which is going to slow them down, which is good. That should be a hit. Max distance. He's going to uh, kill a shot, which is nine. I wonder if she's on that and leaving him. No. No, she picked him. She picked him. Bit obvious, right? No. That's uh, down. I think he might. Does he have dead on as well? No. no. Get another pop. Yeah, perfect time on the dead hard. It was almost uncountable. If he did it a bit later, it would have been uncountable. Thank you, though. They top this again. The issue is, they might be going for these now. I know that she went over there. What's she doing back there? She got a sprint burst, too. This is where it gets difficult because. There's more than one person. So, like, I need to go, like, full map away. And if he's smart, yeah, look, see, he's going to be on this. See? Swim burst. Yeah. Perfect use of swim burst. We knew it, though. We can get maybe a pain rest off this guy. They're going to be trying to finish that gen. Let's see where he goes. We might need to push away. Because they're going to be trying to rush that gen now. Uh, 
I thought. He's just doing that to waste time. I might be able to get to a pain res quick enough. It might be a draw. Let's see. Bang, huge. Hit the pain res. And now we can get pop. Yep, he did it that. Where's the other guy, though? That's the question, isn't it? He could be on that other gen, which is nearly finished. We need to go over there and pop it. Because it's our weak, weak link at the moment. There we go. Alright, we got rid of our weak links. We got one who's on death hook. Him, yeah. Swim burst. So them gens are regressed massively. By the way, people say that gen defense needs nerfing. Can you imagine? People think you don't need gen defense. That's even funnier. go window the back again no no mistake it's our pal i just leave fuck that's bad we needed that shit yeah never mind we need to just go for him it's a draw too many windows imagine we have bamboozle can you imagine 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 we have bamboozle in that side area right there hi right, joe <coughs> People think you don't need gen defense and stuff because they're going against such a low caliber of survivor when thinking they're going against high level. That's the issue. Like, people think they're going against this level. These people who, like, play one hour a week, they think they're going against this level of survivor because they're struggling. But really, they're actually struggling against really basic survivors. Yeah, they don't need gen defense because the level they're going against is so low. <clears throat> How is it going, lad? Good games thus far. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, good games. Very, very high level. Mm -hmm. it says easy and he dies. Only on DVD. But that's uh, that's massive corp. Show one more. When you get a draw versus that caliber, um. I wouldn't be surprised if you actually gained some MMR, if I'm honest. There's going to be a lot of people who won't be able to have a chance versus that. So they'll be very, very high MMR of a, of a team. But we can't see it. But MMR doesn't always need to give you... Um, like, if you draw, it doesn't always need to give you MMR. Um, so oh, funny. sorry. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, what would I say? Man. When you draw, it isn't always neutral. Sometimes it will give you MMR, sometimes it won't, depending on who you're drawing against. Uh, I could imagine if I saw MMR, um, that I would actually have gained like one or two uh, from that match. Because that's a team that a lot of people are going to be. <clears throat> Here's how well you're doing in your little mistake. Yeah, 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 that's all it is. It's one mistake from the killer and then they win. You're playing a game that is already predetermined that you should lose when you play this game, especially with Wraith, for example. Um, so when you win, you're, you're kind of... 
you, you're going against the odds. <clears throat> That's why it's so difficult. And it's why there won't be many people at this level. Because it's just it's way too much for people. Like, you really think casual people are going to play like that? I play fucking like six hours a day, man. I've got 10,000 hours in the game. And I'm already very naturally very competitive. Like, casual players on like, get like a fucking pad, missing 360s. Like, it's, it's a whole different fucking world, man. Sometimes you have to sweat sometimes, you have an easy game every, uh, and everywhere in between. No, the only, the easy games for me is when I get uh, blow the buffer, x what buffer. Um, for me, it's kind of common sense, Dansky. Um, but yeah, that's why I've called it Dead by Gaslight, right? You can get casual players being like, no, you're not top MMR because I don't believe you are, right? Um, but it, it seems quite logical that them survivors were very, very, very fucking efficient and really, really good at the game. Um, and I'm also, when I play other games, I get to uh, the top MMR too. So. I was in uh, For Honor. I was in uh, Rainbow Six. I was in, um, what's the other one? More Combat 1. Street Fighter could have easily got there. Like, in just three days, I got to Diamond 3. Um, and Masters is the highest, which is just three ranks higher. Diamond 4, Diamond 5, Masters. Or well, it could be the other way. But I was, like, I was like two or three away from the highest in three days. Perfect live. There we go. There's a way I could do There we go. That's a kind of a high level survivor trick, right? Doing the uh, the blocking of the window on a riff. I need to get better at that. You need to like mash space like crazy hard. Got him. What kind of BS was that? Basic, basic known tech from Survivor, which stops you from uh, vaulting the window when you play Wraith. Well, basic high level tech, I should say. Obviously, casuals are going to be fucking scared of the bell and running to walls and shit, but. but they're about to finish this by Avatar. That's one. He's gonna have balanced, obviously. I might hit him though. Ooh, he didn't. Okay, a bad play from him. Double shadow dance add-ons hurts. Brutal, bamboozle, pop, and pain reads. Got it, man. Oh, they're nearly done this too. Jim makes that. Ooh, okay, I get it. Uh, so we got one so far. On that gen as well. I get him, I get him. He messed up, I messed up. Oh, fuck. Now I don't. Oh my god, I was so lucky. Okay, it's one two, right? I was so lucky. That could have been so much worse. Got a pain res. And then a pop. She's gonna be over here, I have a feeling. That's number four. Yep, yeah, told you. Game sense. Can I get around here? Very nice. So one, two, and four. Get over here because of agitation. We don't need to think about that. There's so many gens about to pop, and I'm like slowing them down. Ah! 
Did that hit that one or that one? It hit the one at top. So that one's about to be done then. I think he's injured though. No. Okay, this is one. Nice. There's so many gens about to pop. Number four's probably back here, you know. Yeah, she's running there. I think I just saw her. Just here. Perfect live. Train to a pallet, which is safe. Someone's back up there again. How are they not? They all keep healing as well, fuck. I don't know. Bait this way, pretend I don't know the, uh, boop. No matter, I've lived, don't matter. Running before I get close. As I said, it looks like it's good on the gens, but there's like a lot of gens about to be completed. I don't know who the hell did that. I looked up there, no one were there, so I don't know. This guy probably has sprint burst. Yep. I get it though because of my uh, speed up. We can body block him here. That's a hit. Well, we uh, one hooked everyone. So it's not the worst because we have pain res. But ideally, I've been asked to get someone out by now. That's massively regress, that's good. Very quick. Oh, that's not good. He probably has DS and shit. That's why he wants me to be chased. Off the record, etc. Let's go this. Now they're running into the killer shack. There's no way I can really go for it. Body block. To play for her here. She has a pallet anyway, just in case. Knew it. Overcommitted. Wait for dead or just in case. No. Can't remember what they have. I'm, I'm concentrating on so much stuff, I just can't remember what fucking perks they had. So they're probably going to finish that gen over there. I don't think I can stop it. My chase was super quick, but. If they're efficient, they're just going to get straight on it. Okay, it was quick enough. Oh, right, number four's on death hook. That's him. Where's she? Can't stop that, obviously. I'm going to be one at place one time. Where's she go? Falls on Defa, but I don't know where she is. Oh well. There. That's a hit, because of my uh, add-ons. Dude, these add-ons are... Yeah. I don't know how I'll do it without them, honestly. Oh, and she has the S, of course. And then there's a body block, yeah. Yeah, buffing S tier perk soon, cool. As I said, like, if it gets to a point where it's just like you literally can't play other killers other than just the top, uh, I'll just play Survivor, I don't care. Casuals are ruining the game. With the shit takes. As you can see, DS is super strong. Smart.
Huh? Why is she... Bitch. <clears throat> Why is she uh, insta-healed? Was it, was it an insta-heal as well? DS is shit though, guys. Let's buff it. <clears throat> Trash DS, yeah. Needs buffing, right? Casual, casual survivors on Twitter keep telling me. This is what happens when you balance game around casuals and you force the top players to want to go against one another. You just break it. <clears throat> um, double shadow dance add-ons, brutal bamboozle, pop pain res. All right, we'll try that, Jill. See how it does. Mm -hmm. So yeah, DS is getting buffed, so it's going to be even stronger. Because as you can see there, it needs buffing, right? That's what they were bringing. Fucking hell, and insta insta's broken as well at this level. Um. So yeah, three DS's. What a trash perk, right? Top survivors are using such a trash perk, apparently. Uh, let's see. Double Shadow Dance. Maybe that's the best one we should use. I'm going to try this one next with the uh, the eruption. This was the complete uh, pro. The thing is, though, at comp, you don't go against that broken shit. You don't go against insta heals and loads of DSs. So using a comp build still might not even be able to compete. This is too broken, right? Uh, Shadow Dance. This is kind of pointless, I feel, the both Shadow Dance. Brutal bamboozle pop pain res. <sighs> that makes all sense to me, I'm not gonna lie. We had the most efficiency possible there. We got 100% regression, and that's just on pain res. With pop, pop as well, we probably got about 250% regression that game, something like that. So they did seven and a half gens. The only reason they won is they brought broken shit. DS, super, super strong, into insta-heal, broken. Like, get rid of that, could potentially got a draw. Into Adrenaline as well, yeah. Which hasn't had any nerf, so it's S tier still. Swift Hunt, Windstorm, is there a Swift Combo? I think that is, personally. Um, I think they only won because they brought broken shit. <clears throat> I think we could have got a 2k there for sure. The last match is the main reason why you run meta and only top three killers, yeah. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You thought Peanuts Swift, did you, Timmy? Soon Peanuts will be quite low level. I don't think I've seen him play, though. Oh, I could have hit that. I might still be able to. I could Amazing, love. Amazing. Um, can we get a pain res though? I think we can. There's like a good D-bag. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that was. She panicked, and then I read that she was going to think that I was going to double back, so... I completely read her.
We know someone were looking in the doorway for some reason. You saw that. Okay, they're not there anymore. Hello. Nice welcome back. She might have DS though. Ideally, I need to stop going after the obsessions. But the thing is, it, everyone could have it. And soon everyone will have it. Right? We could stay here. It's a good spot for us. That's a hit. We'll risk it. Thank God she didn't have that bad perk DS. Will I be using a buff DS when it goes live? I mean, you've got your choice, haven't you? You can use off the record or DS. You can use both. Hello. So she's running this way. We've got someone coming behind us, obviously. You, yeah. The ninja on her. And there's one more, but she's already probably ran there. Oh, there she is. No, she's already ran there, yeah. Who was it? Was it four? I can't remember the fucking thing. Though. There's a god, a god pallet there. We're not going for that. <coughs> I need to see who this is. Her, uh, yeah. Who were you? Right. Can you please show me who she is? Oh, well. Uh, free, sorry. Yeah. I don't know if this is her. I hope it is her. We got like a three or four gen two. Yeah, it is a good good. Hopefully she sure gets tea bagging. <laughs> so that definitely didn't work out as she wanted. We don't really want to go over here. We can humor it a bit. They always have options. There we go. Nice bit. I think that's blocked though. Okay. We need to get back though. Get a pain res, that's good. Very lucky. Well, like that's just a case of sound flashbangs. Okay. She just four percented. Cause I'm pretty sure someone were over here. Yep, she four percented. Should be a perfect body block. There we go. <laughs> Very unsafe loop. Very hard to play that for her. Yeah, ca casual survivors preaching that unwritten, um, that survival unwritten rulebook as well is annoying. Like you're not going against this. Why are you preaching how we, how we need to play? Like the game is ridiculously difficult when you get to this level. Luckily, you'll never have to reach it. Be happy with that and stop, like, preaching these, like, rules which make it pretty much impossible to win, you know? Make the game about hooks, make it possible to win that way, boom, fixed. 
until then, you know, just it is what it is, right? That was our borrowed time in a bottle. We need to get in front of it here, she knows. Alright, let's just break it. Okay. So, like, if you're making rules up, right, where the killer, uh, you know, car tunnel, car camp, all that kind of stuff, well, survivors can't bring insta heals and borrow time in a bottle so, because it's broken as fuck, right? Like, like if you want to make these rules up, we all need to follow. Survivors stop doing that at least, right? And then maybe maybe it'll be more possible for killers to uh, play in a nicer way for them. Right? Like, there's unwritten rules. Both sides need to partake. It can't just be one side following these unwritten rules and the other side doing whatever they want. You get what I mean? Like, it needs to be both sides doing it. Like, I get it. A lot of people play Survivor really shit and they think the game's killer-sided because they're bad at Survivor. But that doesn't mean that the game is, though. It just means that they're bad at Survivor. And I do get it. Like, Solo Q has some trash players. Like, really, really, really bad at the game players. I get it. I do. I see it when I play Solo Q sometimes. They are really, really bad at the game. It's like playing with like bronze Overwatch players, right? It's frustrating. The way the Meg just looks right over me, yeah. <laughs> I think I hear them outside. Yep. Damn, that was a quick heal, wasn't it? Why are you waiting, Austin Burst? Damn. Yeah, nice. How can solo queues get better at the game, though? Stop crying about how hard it is for them and try to make the devs make it easier and easier and easier would probably help because they never have to learn. Like getting handheld and catered to is never going to get them better. They're never going to get better. If whenever you come to that an issue, which is an issue on skill, not game balance, and you cry about it, how are you going to get better? If it's a game balancing, I get it. I could have got the Meg. But if it's something skill can alleviate, then you just need to get better, right? <laughs> Ricky Gervais. Yeah, I think it's solid. He's quite intelligent, Ricky. He's, uh, he's a very good observer. I think quite a, quite a few, um, what would you call them, comics um, from UK are quite intelligent people, actually. If you actually hear them talk and the way they think, you can see they've, they've, they're actually quite intelligent. Yeah, comedians, I guess you could say, yeah. You can say comics, but yeah, comedians. Russell Brand. That's. Would you say he's a comedian? Huh. I don't see him that much that way. Like, he is ish, but not, not in comparison to Richard Bass, for example.
He used to be, yeah, he used to be. Um, was he in that weird... Was he in that weird... Uh, comedy ages ago? With uh, that other... That other guy. Like some weird fucking name. Was he in that or no? I can't remember. Came to the Greek. No. No, it was like a UK obscure, really random, kind of like Monty Python esque uh, show. But I don't know if he was in it with this other guy, if it was just that other guy. But I can't remember his fucking name. But it was so weird. But it might not have been. I can't remember. Noel Fieldy. Mm. Uh, he was a guy on Nevermind the Buzzcocks a lot. Uh, kind of gothy looking guy. And he was just like, his, his comedy was just obscure comedy. But I, Mighty Boosh! Yeah, Mighty Boosh. Was, was he in Mighty Boosh? Or no? Was that just the other guy? I can't forget, remember. No fielding. Was Russell Brand in Mighty Boosh? Ha <laughs> ha, no way. Damn, that's old school. Yeah, so I, re I remember, so from there, yeah. But he, ha he hasn't been like that for ages, man. I knew it. Well, I didn't know it. I, w I went too short, sure, but. Yeah, that's, a, that's an obscure one. Remember that shit? That was fucking well weird show. Sure. <laughs> that's a proper weird show. Sure. Yeah, he's more political now, I'd say. He, he does seem quite intelligent, though. He, lo he, he looks like he thinks for himself. Um, which, you know, I think is a, a sign of intelligence. Uh, you know, actually thinking for yourself, having critical thinking. Um, but I don't see him as, like, just, just a, a comedian, really, anymore. Um, yeah, he's more political, right? Agitation is such a clutch perk sometimes, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, look at that. He's a rave game. We got, we got the win. It's a good shit. Michael J, thank you for the sub. Uh, Mick, thank you for the 11 months as well. Bing bong. Uh, Truman for the sub on YouTube as well. Uh, x Space Rock if you want to give us a build, see how it does, how it performs against the madness that we go against. Though, sometimes we will go against below the buffer, um, and it won't be as mad. So there is always that chance. Yeah, I'm not bad, Tom. So you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> It was in the IT crowd, was it? When the fuck was he in IT crowd? It must have been a short appearance. I can't remember him. IT crowd had some good moments though. Quite funny. Do you think Hillary's at least in a decent state now for the higher levels? I think there's some broken shit still, like insta heals. I think DS is like super, super strong. And like DS is gonna be ultra broken, right? Because it's it's already super strong. Um Adrenaline really been changed. Yeah, it's still a really quite a bad state for killer. Um if survivors bring super good stuff. Or for a lot of the killers, I should say. There's some killers that I find like nurse, right? Blight potentially. Um but you can't play all the killers. Eight out of ten cats. Eight out of ten cats does countdown. Yeah, and that one guy. Um, I'm really shit with names. I can picture them, like literally picture the, the whole face. But that one guy absolutely hates countdown, or at least that was his, his shtick. Um, no, not Jimmy Coy with the host. 
Uh, when you Who say his name, I'll probably remember. For you right now? John Richardson. No, not him. He was like the Dweeber one, right? Sean, that was it. Sean something. Sean Locke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was, uh, he was hilarious. Yeah, rest in peace, I know. He was hilarious, though. The homeless looking dude. Yeah, he was the kind of shit. Is. I mean, it's all different. They throw different types of humor, don't they, at you? Like, a lot of them have different humors. Um, so it, it hits a lot of marks for people watching. But yeah, Sean was fucking... <laughs> he had his moments, that guy. Very, very good comedic timing. Back through. No. No, and dodge that too. Oof. Quite a bad map this one because this building is too strong. Missed. Very nice. He was scared of my clone to the left. It actually created a bit of a mind game without me doing anything there. I were going to teleport to it uh, if he were going to move there, but he noticed. Put him in a bad situation. Quite nice. And uh, I didn't hit that. So where the hell is that gen on then? There's a gen what's about to be done. Huh. Maybe this one? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to kick it. We're invisible now. Boom. Hello. Ram right to me is our position, fuck it. One's on death, fuck. That was a gen. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Nice, I shoot her. <laughs> I'm just catch her off guard here as well. Yep. No Terry has red glow. Nice. Okay, one's on death hook. Oh, god damn it. It's this super strong vault. Yeah. Break me out. Yeah. Nice. Live, don't matter. Unless she's got options. Free drop. Yeah. Maybe lose another. Maybe we're at two gens. Two gens, one hook. Uh, two hook. Maybe. We gotta pay him res if we can hit it. Pretty good. Not sure what gen they're gonna be on. Uh, grabbed her. Hmm. I don't know, maybe a player? It's kind of an awkward one, I don't believe it. Get a pop. Alright, one and two so far though. Sounds like one's on here. It could be the injured girl. She'll give us a free down. Let's see what it is. <laughs> I had my pick. I wish which one. Alright, it's free. So one, two, and three. No, one's on death hook though, right? I feel like they're up here. 
They are, I knew it. And this is one up here. It probably has pop though. Uh, sorry, it probably has uh, balance. It could have already used it for all I know. Nah, I don't have enough time to look. Quick left, you know. Dodged it, nice. That's two. I don't get pop. That's sad. We needed that. Oh well. It's two again. Embarrassment. Teleport miles away. We know there's one on there, but we don't know where. Uh, too fucking high. This is about to be done. So two's on Deathbook as well. Someone's here hiding, but I don't know where, man. And I don't, I don't have time. But for all I know, they could have balance fall down and then I just won't find them. What I could maybe do... Yep, obviously. That's gonna be nearly done as well. What I could maybe do... Is kick this and then go back when I'm invisible. Can't. Where are you? Nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Hello. Number two's here. Nice. She thought we were going to be over there. That's huge. Bit dead out. No. We need to hope she doesn't have the really shit perk what needs buffing. Good. Alright. Progressing. Nice. We got a hit, but and they just got rid of that, so they're over here again. I don't know where though. And we don't get pop again. Yep, mile away. Number four. No idea. Finish that. Yeah. True wave. True wave indeed. Opened it. Then hit her. She just kind of disappeared there for a second. Got her nice. There she is. We can't mouse one this tile, it's too strong. Yeah. Only way we can get it down. Uh, we can probably... Can I injure her? Nice. Okay. Um, we probably could get a draw. You just get draws all the time, it's so boring. 
Oh ja, warte, das ist Oh, Dragon's Dogma. Um, I don't know if it'd be that good content, honestly. Like, when I was playing it more, a lot of it was to be kind of just like going against the same mobs. Um, like, I've made a really strong build, but I don't know. I shall was not all there. I mean, I'll hit them if they just stay there. I go against a lot of people who have really good dodges. Like at this level, you, you, you know, it's 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 a different it's a different game. I don't know what to say. It's like a completely different game. Uh, if you ever reach it. Uh, Lord, thank you for the free months. Appreciate it. Is this the bloody ours? Good and jolly. Uh, I haven't watched the new Fallout show, so... More insta-heals, more DS. Luckily we didn't hit them. Very lucky we didn't hit them. We avoided them with them too. Very, very lucky. Oh no, actually, we could have maybe. <gasps> with a... Uh... But we didn't go to where back to back it was Meg, so we dodged it. Look okay. Same sweat, different day. Yeah, man. Same shit. That's what happens. We're we're at the top bracket. Like this is this is just our existence on this game now. Um Yeah, I'll probably check it, Jolly. Uh, drawing all the time isn't too interesting, Timmy. Like, that's why the, it shouldn't be about kills, it should be hooks. More spooky comp reacts. We could, we could. Um, you know, I I will react to different things. Well, you know, if you bring something up and I'm like, oh, you know, that sounds kind of interesting. Show us, uh, give us a link. We'll have a look. Do 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 do. Bring the spooks. <laughs> You ever thought about streaming later hard to catch these while... Oh, no, Charlie. No, I won't be able to stream to appease just you uh, because there'll be someone else who's like... But then that messes them up. Like, you, you can't you can't have, like, a perfect schedule for everyone is what I'm trying to say. It's impossible because everyone's um, around the world, you know, different time zones. Do, 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 do. Uh, no, Timmy, it's just boring drawing all the time. A draw is a very, very uninteresting result um, in anything. In sports, in, in anything. Especially when it's kind of forced and predetermined. It's even worse. It is what it is, alright. It is what it is. Do, 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 do. It's 4 a.m. there, is it? <laughs> uh, in Team Fortress 2, there is no draw. Both sides just lose, which has always been your outlook on draws. Same thing. If both sides lose, it'll be the equivalent of... It'll be, the, it'll be near enough the exact same as a draw unless they're in some kind of, like, uh, tournament where... They, there were points going against one another. But if you just have a, a 1v1 and then that's it, 
uh, both people losing, both people drawing, uh, and both people winning is all the same kind of outcome, right? It's the same results. Mm -hmm. Yeah, draw for killer, two survivors still win. That's true. You're not wrong. I didn't really play with Monto much, man. I did one one thing with him off stream. Um, kind of, uh, it was someone's birthday, so we uh, we played like a, a few matches with him, you know, as a, like a kind of gesture. Um, and that were about it. It was chill though. It was it was chill. Um, they were really they were really low level. Um, we went against a nurse, and she couldn't even hit me. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, not the people we're playing with, the people we went against. We just went against some random random killer. I think it was in America as well, so it was kind of laggy. But it didn't matter, the nurse was terrible. I don't think she downed me. If I remember correctly. <laughs> it was on bad ham. Oh, nice. Created a 50 50 there. She has a uh, control though. They're about to finish this gen. And... No, they're not. They're not. I'm scared. They're close though. Mm -hmm. Now that is some big damage. Fifty percent right off the bat. Two people on on uh, first hold, but we're playing spirit armor. It's uh, an actual viable killer. Oh, that's not good though. Two four. She probably has DS. This girl, if she's doing that. La 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 la. Hello. You were touching that, you don't have anything. Whoops. Oh, she ran back around. This window being here makes this kind of awkward, man. Oh, that window there, it's really awkward. The devs have switched the window around on the jungle gym and it's just weird. I don't think they didn't know why they've done it. They've just done it for like variety's sake. I don't think they've thought about it. Yeah, it's too, it's too safe. Live? No. Perfect. One good chase, two gens, and that's a rib. Two pain res and two pop being used. Or was it one pop? Might be one. Someone's here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, two's on death hook. Not bad. I don't care about going over there, it's too far. Someone's up here, I can hear them. Want to get our stalk back a bit. Or oh, our face, sorry. She's gonna have sprint burst. We know that two's on death hook, though. She's probably gonna be. I think she's gonna be over here again. Like there or here. Hmm. There she is. She's near a god pallet though. Yeah, she's gonna pre drop it. Fuck it, right? Ultra safe. Did she just double back? Red Glower.
not sure where she went. Don't have time to look for her either. Someone's back here. Can't see them. Oh, wait, they went to the left. Can send me here then. Three. Mm. Perfect room burst. Safe pallet. Mm -hmm. Then they have another god pallet here. Did I break it? I can't remember. Someone's upstairs, but they're going to use balanced again. Balanced. And no scratch marks. Makes sense. Where'd that girl's scratch marks go, guys? Any ideas? I feel like I just heard someone here for a second as well. Could have been the uh, sound effects of the map, though. Okay, we got rid of the god pallet. Number two disappeared too. One. Feel I'm perfect for uh no he isn't. One gen. That's nearly finished as well. Maybe another draw, maybe, maybe worse. Dunno. I've had two survivors disappear though. I don't know where the fuck they went. I didn't help. Uh, the uh, the balanced landing girl, she just disappeared. I remember if I've got a pain res with this guy. But it's worth at least attempting. Yeah, this girl up here, she just disappeared, man. Like, she jumped down there and then the scratch marks just, like, went. Uh, three kills to get a win. Two for a draw. Oh, is there a boon here or something? He has no scratch marks either. Interesting. No DS, luckily. Would have made us lose. So they're going to be up there and on that far one. Don't think I can stop both of them. I think it's actually impossible. Other girl has balanced landed, she's gonna fall down. So I won't be able to catch her either. So you're gonna disappear again. The silent flashbang, very nice. Hold it to this time though. Even through the silent flashbang. Perfect use of the window, yep, I expected that. We don't want to phase yet, we want to hit a then phase so we get the sprint off the, uh, what's it called? Um, rapid Brutality. Ooh, let's see. Will it give us enough distance and speed? She knows exactly what uh, thing to run to, but I'm going super quick, let's see. Yep, just enough. They're trying heal type of the mess up. Another draw. Hello. Can you do a demo game? Black heart, dark <laughs> seven de uh, seven gens done. Yeah, minimum, right? Uh you got it, uh, supersonic. Appreciate the temp. Uh, good scary comps to watch on Nuke's top five on YouTube. We could maybe check one. Is there is there a new one? Or are they all Nuke's top five? Oh. 
It was this that I saw. Probably seen it. I don't think I've seen this one, so we could check that. Top ten ghost videos so scary you'll have have gravy pants. Oh. Pretty sure New Star Five does fake ghost shit. I mean, a lot of it looks that way. Um. Grave, eh? I think you put gravy. Oh, no, it probably is gravy, innit? <laughs> uh, let's see. Demo. Demo boy, demo boy. Hold on, I think you Black Heart. Yeah. Wait. Oh, okay. Bob's glasses. I think that's better. I just need to move quicker while charging. Pop, pain res, agi eruption. Enjoying the draws, Timmy. <laughs> oh, Case in point. Uh, did you know it's the stun bug is still there on night when you use his guards? Oh, really? No, I didn't. I, I don't really play night too much. So. Six man kill rate incoming, eight draws, two wins. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> We're probably on track for that or something. Predetermined, isn't it? Blackheart and Bob's Grass were also buffed. Okay. Let's see. Are you doing lock? I didn't watch Stranger Things for uh, a very long time. I watched, I think... Season one. Uh, started going off it a bit towards the end. And then I watched like one episode of season two. And then I'm just like, yeah. I think it might be the first episode. There's a lot of action in uh, the first episode of season two. Was that like, the end of season one? Was it both? Because there was something where I was like, yeah, it's just kind of changing. No, I ain't seen the Fallout show. I will probably check it. I don't see why not. I'm literally hearing only good things. So that's usually a good sign. Mm. 
Probably a balance if she's going up here. Yeah. One thing top survivors know how to do is waste fuckloads of the killer's time without them being uh, able to have much influence over it. So balance landing, lives, that kind of stuff. Just pre-drop that too. Ooh, oh, that would have been nice. Oh, we're on a chance as well. There we go. I really didn't want to break that because she's just going to run to the next loop. And this is at least a loop which isn't too crazy. It's still very fucking powerful, but I mean, where would she have ran? It might be some wee, uh, a flashlight now. Maybe baiting. Ah! Dodge. Nice. Put that wrong. On the tip of that. Could be a legacy bag, I don't know. Might be just a skin. Don't really matter. They might have legacy, just not use it. Yeah, perfect uh, reassurance. Yeah. Way too safe. For what? Do, 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 do. Where the fuck she went? I saw a scratch once. Oh, she tapped this again. The fuck. Got pallet. Mm 
Man. No, 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 no. Dead odd, right? I have to attack. I had to risk it. Do the ER still have a god pad? No, they don't. I can bring her in here. Yeah, they're always going to finish that. Well, the question is, where is this other girl? There she is. That should be a trade, right? I'm too fast, love. I'm too fast. is here, the hook. <laughs> Just not enough. Fucking deja vu every game, innit? Can we get someone who's injured? And not have to chase her? Yeah, we can. See a weird nemesis build. It's coordinates, whack, and game of foot. Your Come choice up. of add ons. Oh, his third. Not bad, that. She just got some kind of spring burst there. Well. Does this count for Spirit Fury when the shreds a pallet, please? Uh, yeah, it will. Because you're breaking a pallet. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the new Fallout for, uh, the new, new uh, Fallout for is on five minutes. Yeah, a million completely safe pallets. I know. The game's designed for casual players. It's uh, it's massively imbalanced when you go against good. That's what happens. It's the causality, cause and effect. Uh, we in Nemesis build. You got it, man. Uh, pop discordance, thwack, game of foot. Uh, my choice of add-ons. These are alright. Is 
Because Legion benefit from Bamboozle vaulting speed. Completely pointless using Bamboozle and Legion, I think. Well, I won't say pointless, but it's uh, there's better perks. Yeah, the window will get blocked, but um, they'll just get to a part anyway. And then you break that and then they just run to the next one. How you doing, Shedza? Yeah, not bad. Uh, no problem, Chris. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, super, super sweaty. Shows it. We're, we're at the top, man. The only time they won't be sweaty is if top players aren't queuing. That's when we get below the buffer players and we just get like a piss easy game. Like there's there's no light in between really anymore. So have a piss easy or uh, super strong. Um, King with the a six a six a six. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Never needs a buff. Hmm. Yeah, we need more streamers to get to this this point so they can. Uh, Get a more kind of, get more understanding, I think. There's too much incentive to smurf though, now. There's way too much incentive to smurf. Go against babies. Thank you for the 17 months. I'll be checking her Mac tomorrow, or most likely, John. Thank you for being real. Also, will you be checking out her Mac in MP1? Appreciate you. But yeah, probably tomorrow, because it comes out quite late today, which I assumed they were going to. That's going to be difficult. I haven't played more combat for ages. Hopefully, uh, MMR decreases when you haven't played for a while. That'd be quite nice, because the uh, people I'm going to be going against will be insane. Because of how, how good I got with Johnny. Good bounce landing. We didn't pick up one three, man. Surely get that. Oh, maybe not. All urban plays Johnny Cage in the next MK mover. Oh, yeah? wonder if that were him. Well, I knew it. Bloody knew it. Nice. I couldn't even Nem take that because he was uh, not visible. The fuck? Nice.
Do you see how he ducks that? That's all I'm on about. You know when I get hit with that nemesis when I ducked? Say, so, wait, it must have been a ping thing. I think this might be uncountable. I need to wait for the zombie. I think it's like an uncountable situation for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it were. Because he can duck whenever I go for the whip. And then when I try and actually walk over, he could just vault as I'm doing it. Pretty sure that's uncountable for Nemesis. Other than a zombie coming, which I was waiting for. That looked uncountable. Someone's running back for him. Meow, 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 meow. Should be saving him any second. Because I saw the scratch marks. No. Oh, I'll get a trade then. They're here. Where though? One's here. Oh, he's in there. Okay. I don't even get a trade. That's insane. They did end game hook save. Not even end game. That's kind of crazy. Um. That's kind of crazy, right? End game hook save, not even end game. Did this guy just get hit by one of the zombies? Or was it a uh, plot twist? Ah! I think it was plot twist. But I, I did hear like, ah, but I don't know where the fuck he is. Sound of this game is kind of bad, so it's quite hard to uh, find people. Ah! Oh, I hear him, I hear him. Nice. Probably has DS this guy, we need to watch out. Life looks quite high. He bought that quick. Just got past him, nice. Just wait a bit longer. Alright, we should have waited long enough, right? For DS. Wait quite a while. Yeah, that zombie must have been like proper MVP right there. It hit him like in the grass as he was running away. I haven't seen that before, you know. I haven't seen end game save mid game way through. You know, where two people come, one for the body block to run away and then the other for the. the lab. I haven't seen that ever. Usually they save that to the very end. So that was, uh, that was quite unique. That might be a hit. Ah! Overcommitted. Yeah, usually they just trade. Probably smarter to just trade now that I'm thinking about it though. Because they used a lot of resources instead of just trading. Mm -hmm. pack value. It's one of the worst person in the game. I don't know I, like I don't know why you even use it. 
Try and look for a random pallet down. <coughs> does it even work with my whip? I think it does, right? There we go, whack. There, we'll see with discordance. One to the right, one to the left. Wow, okay. You have dead on? No. Even without having a hook condition, it's bad, yeah. I know. Yeah, you need to hook them and then you get one usage, right? Yeah, when the devs create perks like Quack, it does make me wonder what they're thinking, you know? Because they obviously think it's a good perk, right? That's why they create it. So it makes me wonder, like, what, what conversation they have to be like, right, you, you hook them, and then when you hit a pallet, you see aura. Um, I mean, how far is the aura? Is it at least far? 32 meters. Like, if it was, like, map-wide... Go on, then. Yeah. But 32 meters? I don't know. I think the way to make this actually, like... A perk that might, like might have a chance to be a meta perk, for example, would be when you break two pallets, the third pallet, this activates and it's map wide. Um, then there might be a usage, right? But other than that, no. Maybe something else. I don't know. But that that has potential to actually be good. Um. Map why they go map wise go on then thirteen meters sit fuck down. <laughs> um Uh, Glover, thank you for the uh, Prime. Appreciate it, man. Does Fight Club even make people screaming on, uh, scream when they're on gens? Yeah, maybe uh, we win sometime, possibly. Is it even possible to do a 4K without gen perks? First, good players, like a good, um, a good, like, uh, a good four man. Um, I think the only chance you'd really have. I mean, Nurse, I feel like Nurse always has a chance, but she'd probably need to slug. And it'd be really fucking difficult. Because you need to keep track of everyone, and that, and hoping they not they don't have like for the people buckle up and all that kind of stuff and insta heals. Mm. I mean, poss possibly nurse. Yeah, I'll be very very quick with our gender fans. If you go against like a four man swift, or like a top four man swift, no gen defense, and they bring loads of meta shit, I think you're gonna have a really quick game. Love the reaction videos, appreciate it, man. Don't know what to react to today, though. Any reaction video today? Hopefully, I mean, I don't know what, though. 
I mean, I've, I've got something what's talking about cod cheaters. It's kind of a conspiracy theory. Um, which seemed interesting-ish. Um, and then one of you says, uh, what is it? Nukes top five or top ten, sorry. Nukes top ten. Um, which apparently has, like, good... Um, I need to stop putting the cancel map off for him. Uh, which apparently has, like, good ghost stuff. I already reacted to Coconuts in video. Did that yesterday. Give my take. It's pretty much saying a lot of what I've already said, honestly. Remember, I've been proactive talking about this stuff. A lot of people are kind of reacting now. I talked about before, proactive versus reactive. Proactive is basically trying to fix a problem before it happens. Reactive is trying to fix the problem as it's happening. So I talked about this about two years ago because I saw the uh, I saw the direction. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like it's doctor's footsteps. So yeah, they picked RPD. Mm -hmm. Not a very fun map, if I'm honest. It's a lot of just holding forward, if they're good. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be. You see how they just run really far away before you get to them. We do have... Um, we do have a trick for it, though. We have this thing where we can disappear. Which is massively needed on this map, so that's good. Otherwise, they just shift W me all the way through. But now I actually can catch them off guard, look. Maybe. Uh, maybe in here? Right. Here? Okay, they are here. I have no terrorists or red glow, just so, man. That's unlucky. But we did catch up quite a lot. That should be a hit now. Can I shift W? No. Ooh, I like you. Yeah, yeah, we can keep doing this. As long as I don't mess up this shot, because there is pressure on me. I'll do one more just in case. There go. <clears throat> yeah, there is pressure on you when you're doing that, but as long as you don't mess up, free down. I'm off, I've got you. See ya. Mm -hmm. Risk it, because someone could have been waiting there. I think they're on here. They're trying to finish this gen at the far end. Just feel it. And we disappear. So number one. Hopefully she comes back to us, that'd be really good. Like down here. She didn't. Or the healing you want hook? Must be right. Okay. Well, we can go for her again. Looks like she. No, no, I can hear her. We can go for her again. If it is her. Over time. We might not need to do another. No, we don't. We've got someone behind me, though. This is risky. Hopefully not background player. That's that one, and I just did it as well. Oh wait. There it is. And there it is gone. So we've got one back there, we've got one over there. And we got one somewhere else. Where's the other person? There. Yeah, smart. I don't think I make that. No, very good. Very good. Alright, one's on death hook. Uh, can I get a pain res or no? Yeah. Because I've had you. <laughs> 
Thanks for your side if you want to give it a bird, by the way. Zero on the list at the moment. See how they perform versus the insane caliber that we go against. See if your build will work at this level. If you do actually get to it. Perfect balance. We can stop that though. Um, what else we're trying to stop? I feel that Meg's gonna be around. Oh, she healed. There she is. Yep. Smart. Where's she gonna run? Is the question. That way. She goes to a vault here. Pre drop? No pre drop. We can stop that vault if she's going for it. If she vaults here, it doesn't matter too much. She's gonna try and pre drop that. Don't get it. Make sure she doesn't get that vault. Did she get the vault? She did. That's annoying. Get rid of that pre-drop. If she goes this window, I think it's a hit because it's a medium. Yep. And she could just pre-drop that. I got all about it because of the distance. Oh, actually, sorry, the elevation. Now she can shift W for ages. Because of the god palette, it just causes it to happen. I'll stop it. Is that going to be a balanced landing? Do you see the shift W on this map? It's why they've picked it, obviously. Get that. Get that. Get that. And there's the perfect body block. Because it's so easy to body block on this map. Because it's all, once again, one direction. All the way through the whole map. Once again, that's why they've picked it. Gonna slug on her so she can't be on a gen. They're gonna be finishing that picking her up. How brain that this is. Got it here. <laughs> Said it once, I'll say it again. The reason MMR is in place, so casual players don't have to go against this, they would uninstall the game. It'd be way too much for them to take. It's literally the only reason it's designed. It's not designed because uh, the devs want everyone to have a, a fun experience. Oh wait, I don't want it like that yet. <laughs> Hello. Bye. So you only play nurse, yeah. I don't want to just play one killer. It's boring. That's the issue. Can't make that. We can eat turbo. We'll get a pop instead. Falls on death hook. More one way system in there. Oh, she waited a bit. That's good. Balanced. Yeah. Can't get the window. Oh, she's going for that instead. Then she's got the door. She's going up instead of going for the... Oh, no, you know what? I can't. No, no, no. I can't do that. Hello. I think she's dead though, so that's good. Uh, 
Uh, do you think DVD should have a League Rank mode? I think DVD should show what level you're going against and reward you for doing so. Because then at least it'll make me feel that they're at least being, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're creating MMO because they have some respect for the good players. Until they do that, I just feel like they're doing it because they're shunning the good players away. When they make it, but when they make me feel like they respect me, um, then I'll be happy going through all this like insane play. Uh, yeah, I use static blast before kicking the gem because when I kick a gem, I um, I go undetectable with this build, so my static blast wouldn't work because it only goes where your terror radius is. Static blast. I think they're at the god power, like here. They can be here. But it also can be here. No, it was there. <laughs> so look, when I kick this gen, watch. Not this one. When I kick this gen, watch. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. Boom. Now I'm uh, undetectable. I have no terror radius or red glow. So if I use static blast, it won't um, wash up anyway. That's a super strong version. So that's nice. You do a lot of shocks here. That might be enough. Yeah, I think that's enough. Fourth tech. Amazing. Uh, end of the end of the world. Yeah, that's what this map is. It's a massive just one-way system. Um, when Survivor runs forward, if you want to get that Survivor, you have to go around this one-way system to slowly catch up to them. And every time they put a God Pallet down, they gain like 15 seconds on you again. So. So you can waste like 20 seconds going around the one-way system or God Pallet, break it, 15 seconds. Hello. Get in. Uh, like, a lot of the time, so if I was picking map, you're most likely not going to like it as killer. Because the, the, there's a reason they're picking the map, right? It's not for the killer's fun. It'll have some kind of advantage for what they want. That's why they're picking it. Yeah, they have a plan. Yeah. It'll either synergize with the perks or it'll just be an overall very imbalanced map. Hello. Yeah, no gens are being worked on, so pain res didn't activate. Yep, it gives you information. Not the best information compared to what it used to give, but it does give you some. That's why I started using pain res with um, Dead Man Switch, the information. Here's the hill. Nah, I mainly check the profile just to see if there's any love hearts or, like, something to do with comp. Um, every now and again. I, I don't do it all the time. Uh, I just do every every so often. Um, try Bubba. Bubba's kind of... Hmm... 
no bamboozles a bit scary, but you don't need to go off them there. Let's try it. It is a very good universal build this. Does the mouse one build still work? You mean with uh, Spirit Fury Enduring? Hmm. There's a reason why I stopped using it. I forgot why, but it was probably because I saw that it didn't work. There's a perk from Pyramid. Yeah, you're on about um, tor Torment or something. Trail of Torment, I think it's called. I think it is. Uh, it's inferior. Um, unforeseen is definitely the uh, the stronger, the stronger one. Agitation with bamboo is all. Agitation's too good, though, man. It's too fucking good. If you've like when it, when you ever go against some like actual good survivors, like they can play the game, they've got good game sense, uh, they're not scared of the killer. You'll start understanding why agitation's good. Like good survivors with good game sense know exactly when to go for a body block on a hook which is going to prevent you from getting a hook if you went for a hook you wanted to go for right so if i had pain res and i didn't use agitation and i saw a far hook and i was like oh i can go for this but if they get one body block i can't if anyone is near that they will understand the same thing get the body block and then boom they're gone you can lose the whole game off it just that one thing then you've got alex's toolbox with background player as well destroys your whole game you can't, can't compete so Agitation's almost like, it's almost like needed, I think, at this point. I, th I think it's because of uh, background player, like Alex's tool. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, Alex's toolbox with background player, but just background player in general um, has pretty much made it where you almost need agitation. And even with, like, not even talking about that, just getting to hooks quicker so you can then get to a gen to stop it, um, it adds up as well. Like, I have a feeling agitation gives you Quite a lot of seconds throughout the match. Um, I bet it saves you like 40, 50, maybe a minute of time. Maybe more. Uh, oh, she busted uh, Sarah. Why is she busted? Bluff, but she had a good movement. She was hugging the uh, the side. Oh, look, this is going to take me like two seconds to get to this hook. Usually, take like six. And that's a close hook. So imagine far ones, right? No, come in. Hmm. Could see me, I guess. Hello. <laughs> Over there. Oh. Ooh. Over there, right? That'd take like 20 seconds to walk to, or maybe 15. Look at that, it's five. So I'm just saving time continually. She sadly has uh, off the record, so she's completely safe. That's why she's doing what she's doing. She messed up. Maybe I can kill her. You never know, right? Yeah, I think I can. I think she got way overconfident there. She didn't realize who she was. Fucking messing with! And before she has a fucking DS as well. Do you have the legacy hammer? Uh, I'm not sure. I could have a look. 
But you got it, man. Appreciate the 10. Yeah, she was way too confident. Don't know if she's fucking messing with me, man. Falls on death hook. I'm gonna bring him over here, I don't care. Yeah, damn right, I'm not gonna give you a heal. Is it four on death hook or three? Shit. Oh, sorry, two. No, it was four, right? It was four on death hook and, and we've got one. Yeah. Boy off guard. Perfect dead on nice. Should have expected it. It's naive of me. Naivety man gets me every now and again. Probably still has off the record, so there's no point in mouse one, you know. <laughs> maybe not, maybe should we heal the other guy? Oh, maybe I should have mouse one though. Come on. Uh you got it, Quinna? And sure thing. Was it fall that way we're going after? I really can't remember. Yeah, okay, I thought, I, thought, I thought it were. Bit too overconfident there, love. I just saw you, by the way. Your swim burst. Yeah. Mess that up. I uh, get a mouse one though, fuck it. I was supposed to do a really quick 180. Didn't do it quick enough. Da, 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 da. Push him this way for the 50 50. Read it, nice. Push him this way for the 50 50. Didn't read it. Very good at TCM as well. Whenever I put time like into a game, uh, I usually will get all right at it because I'm competitive. But thank you. I didn't put as much time into TCM, but I think we we had a very very strong family we created. What was it? Twenty eight win streak or something. And that was killing all four, by the way. We made the win streaks very difficult for ourselves. So. Swim burst, obviously. Oh, yeah, if you wanna. Go. Leave mm. me agitation, nice. Agitation's gonna let you move further away quicker. Last trials? I don't think so. It's not on my radar. Like, it was fun back then when we played it because it was all new and stuff, but now it's not new, is it? Like, it won't it just be the same levels? And all the good, but you speak your mind. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. As I said, I appreciate you guys who actually like people who speak their mind. And, like, the world's a very, very fake place, so it's, it's nice, so uh, let's see if I can do this. No. It's kind of curious. Um, you know, it's good to have some, uh, some truth to it, you know? Fuck it out, man. 
Couldn't really see where the rock were there because of all the corn, so it's quite difficult. Not sure what played that way, but yeah. So freeze on death hook. I think he's dead in A number one. Yeah. He is dead hard as well, I remember. More naive to this time. Bear dad out here. Ah! Yeah. I love how they just teleport onto the uh, the pallet. Well, actually, I don't love it. I hate it, but it's funny. Ah! Well, you hit them away, and you're like, "Oh, thank fuck! I didn't put them on the." Uh... I, I didn't down them near the um, the pallet, so we can just pick them up and then bro, teleport. Try this again. Kind of curious. Can you even do it? Like, I'm not even sure if you can do it. Need to test. Mm, I don't think you can. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I do Oh, you can't, okay. I'm not sure. Just keep changing stuff. I know that you used to be able to. But you still can. You just need to be really uh, tight with it. You're just gonna go to a god. Wait. That gen's almost done. Because she has the ass. That's why I show him to chase. No. Maybe in the future. Ah! Try it again. I know what to do now. Do, 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 do. That would have hit them anyway, but it'd be nice like if it <laughs> Baba finish up playing with the survivors and come eat. We're <laughs> having survivor chili with extra nails. Nails, nails, nails. Nails, they might come this way because of the radius. Nails, 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 uh, but most likely they get one at all. Nails, whales, fails, sails. Okay. <laughs> 
Fair enough if you just want to give up. GG! <laughs> 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 She were here again. Why do they make this so freaking awkward? Just leave it as it is, man. Hmm. Huh. Is the game dead? The uh the queue times are really long. Really, really long. Do 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 do. Uh, better sheds there. Um, it's usually when I'm streaming, as I said. Like, as soon as I stop streaming, it, it, I don't know, it's weird. Um. Let's see. So, Billy a Blight. Let's see. I ain't played Billy for ages again. Green Ravens. God, it's even harder. More pro. Yeah, this is gonna be a mess. Bamboozles superior pop cameras. There we go. This is going to be really fucking confusing for me. 12% longer charge time. Do -do -do. Swear, you can't, uh, swear to God, you can't play the game anymore. I uh, haven't played in three months, but uh, I've been watching the game, just installed it to give it another go, but it's so stress inducing to play killer. Yeah, if you go against good survivors, I mean, it, again, it's subjective on what's good for you as well. Uh, but, you know, if you go against survivors as good as yourself, no matter what level that's at, you're going to have kind of a, a, like a, a, you know, a stressful kind of time. The bike of the moment is You guys in your name, don't you know? It's all about me now. <laughs> One area as well, fuck it out. God, I'm going so quick. In the way that you can go like... Yeah. Wait, that one ain't worried. There's something you can do on them to like fly... Well, I mean, it'll get removed anyway, but... How's it going left to a guy's true oil? Uh, yeah, not bad, Great Fox. Usually the 36 months. I guess you're actually going over here, which will to the vault, maybe. I didn't think about that. Hmm. 
Could have maybe low pro'd that, but she could have also read that eight low pro. Good afternoon, true. You doing, man? Ah, uh, you doing? I think I can make that. It's going to take about 15 seconds to walk there, though. There we go. I always want to like, use it, but you have to like wait for certain angles, I feel like. I need to wait like, like here, maybe. Yeah, it does seem to be easy like that. Look could you imagine going through that <laughs> like super quick? That would be nice. Run away. No. It was the first one, two weren't it, two three. Fucking hell, dude. Two again. I think they did that thing what makes a uh, borrowed time on every gen. Hey, true three, can I, I don't make that. Next? <laughs> yeah, you got it, just. Mm. Oh, I am. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. One, two, right? Yeah. You get people so out positioned, it's actually kind of crazy. Oh no, it's one three. I can't remember. I see you. I think she has DS. If she's got um, no Miva, she's probably running DS. Yeah, then it's stun as well. No. That's weird. Look, look, Twitter. DS needs buffing. <laughs> That's what they do on Twitter. They show like a survivor play like a horrific after using DS uh, and act like it's uh, DS. <laughs> what needs buffing? Mm. Yeah, that was weird. Like, I agree. I mean, X. I don't want to call it X. I really don't. I'll go through these, right? Yeah. That's why I'm avoiding them. So if they were there, I'd have to go... No, I wouldn't go all the way, would it? You don't get enough as a, of a turn. No. You'd have to do it instantly. So you'd have to call, so. These fucking things, man. You can get from point A to point B so quick, though. Like, look how far these gens are split. If I were, like, a killer who couldn't, like, move. Or, you know, one of the normal killers who, like, is slow, getting from point A to point B. This would be really hard to, like, Patrol. Dude, this fucking reads. They are here. I just saw them. Wow, nice timing, good bam, right?
<laughs> Reckon she's gonna go the Gopalov says? No. Get him. Crawls being Uri Crawls. Side? Rare, isn't it? I can see all the way. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd see her there, right? Think. Right? Oh, they could ever leave. Uh, this part uh, makes me start looking through the screen. It's hard for me to pay attention. <laughs> I'm just like going like this back and forth. I don't think I see anyone there though. Shrews, best killer. What Bill life? No. Billy and West come my weakest. You'll never catch me alive. I mean, you're not wrong, I guess, right? It's actually a weird saying that. Well, I see they did that to hide that, I guess. And then brought a brand new part as well. So two brand new parts and one of the gens. Any reactions? Not yet. Not yet. I'm uh, happy you're enjoying the uh, the reactions. Just something different, right? IG pain raise pop eruption. Um, okay. He's super OP add-ons. You'll never take me alive. 
Yeah. Still a weird saying though, isn't it? Da, 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 da. No, I don't think Billy's weak. He has potential to be a top five. I just don't really have uh, experience with him. He um, he he was too loud, so I didn't play him for like years. Pretty much, not properly. Midway to these add-ons, Blacks of God. I think he's just really good in general. One v ones mean nothing. The one v ones they're not balanced because map RNG. You're never gonna have like an actual balanced one. I'm all to stream, Twitch and YouTube at the moment. Yeah, I guess I won't surrender. Yeah, I guess I guess, I guess it makes sense. You have people constantly in one ones getting a much longer time constantly though. Yeah, but they're probably just far, far better. So it doesn't matter about the RNG. You know, that's like someone saying, oh, this Geef player whose master keeps beating up on golds who play Ken, who's better, right? They got better RNG, they got a better hand, but the guy's better, so it doesn't matter. Um, you can't deny that the RNG will be favorable um, or more favorable and less favorable uh, just randomly. It's subjective. Uh, yeah, combat cast. Uh, I checked that yesterday, and Ermax out tomorrow. Well, it's out today, but it's really late, so we're going to be trying out tomorrow. So, let's see. Let's see how we play. I ain't played more combat for a while, and I got like super, super high MMR with Johnny Cage, which was cool. It was a good journey. Um, but it's it's kind of wrecked it for like learning new characters. <laughs> so Clark's going forward, backwards, forwards, backwards. Yeah, I don't follow it. It's just fucking stupid. They need to just stop it. Am I going to make another account for her, Mac? It's tempting, man. It's fucking tempting. Like, I want to go against, like, some chill people just to start so I can learn him, you know? I won't have all the cameos, though, which is annoying. I guess we'll see. I never usually do that. He has balance if he's going up here. Nope. <laughs> the answer is nope. I think one of them just rage quit, by the way. 
They've been incentivized to do that though, right? Because whenever they rage quit, they get like killers nerfed and stuff. Also so silly. They were trying to heal on hook bots. They're kind of cute in a way. Yeah, these items are ridi uh, ridiculous. I agree. Crazy. It's just crazy that this killer with these add-ons and stuff is in the game, like the same game as like fucking Wraith. It's just so weird. I've said it before, but I just find it so surreal. Nice. She made it so uh, I couldn't actually hit her. So I would definitely honor. her. He is kind of solid, man. Knew it. Dead odd as well? That would have been crazy, right? If she kept dead odd after all that, too. So one and three, dead oak. Window. To the windows. To the windows. Pin the boss over here. Swap down that Someone's up here. It's you. So I can do something crazy. And then, rah, and he's randomly here, rah. I mean, almost. That's it, yeah. Doesn't matter what she does. Lock up. 
Not like a blue. <laughs> Would you say DVD is the most competitive it's ever been? You know my take, I think it is. I think it's the most competitive it's like ever, ever, ever been. Oh shit. Maybe it depends on what kind of level of people you're going against. When MMR released? No, I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that, that's only because of strict matchmaking. Though. Overall, I don't think it were. Look at that turn, it's insane. More good players now than before. Can I do this again? Yeah, you can. You could do this, can't you? Where you could go back on yourself. One sec. Like. Wait, can you? So it's just been ever. Yeah, I think it is. I mean. I could maybe agree when strict matchmaking was in, maybe that was worse. But I think overall, it's like way sweatier, you know? I think the only ones not experienced in it are probably like the proper, proper casuals, maybe. Because they've been hidden away from it all, possibly. Was strict, it was. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Now that you say. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's gonna bounce off the window. Uh, Batogen. Morning to you. <laughs> Not scared of. That's funny. There we go. Just have to go more of an angle. That'll all be gone soon anyway, won't it? I wonder when they get rid of the Wesker stuff. Because if they're getting rid of that, I don't know why they would be keeping other stuff. I'm not saying they should, by the way. I'm just kind of um, predicting how the devs work. Are you dead zoned now? I think removing hook tech on Blight is good for the game. No, I actually don't. No. It makes it more one dimensional. Because everyone's going to be playing the exact same now. You want depth in your characters. Like, imagine if a fighting game, every character, they had. Like a week, a week worth of learning depth. Maybe even less. Maybe like two days worth of learning depth. So after like a week, everyone who plays that character, they're pretty much playing the exact same as one another. That was a bit like some characters in MK11, actually. Um, which is why it kind of flopped. Like Liu Kang in MK11 played near enough the exact same as every other Liu Kang. <laughs> For example. 
because the depth weren't too high on uh, MK11. Still much higher than this, but I'm saying from a fighting game perspective. Bracket MK1. Yeah. No, no, not MK1. MK1 has, um, it has assists. Um, but there were some issues, like Raiden, I would say more. Like Raiden with Cyrax at the start. That was, that was quite brain dead in that much depth. Like the highest level has their skill set and they're just dropping that down. Yeah, I don't, they don't, like, I don't know the reasoning behind it. Is it kind of a control thing where the devs want to just be in control and because it's a bug, it needs to get fixed? Um, just, you can join. I don't know what to react to. There's this, uh, COD thing I could react to where apparently some people are thinking some, like, prominent streamers are, uh, cheating. And it's a bit sussy. I don't really watch the, uh, the COD stuff, though. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some people smurfing in it, though. Because, um... MMR or E or MM, I think, whatever it was called. Someone said that, uh, COD actually doesn't have SBMM. It's E or MM, which is apparently worse in some way. Um... But I won't be surprised if people are uh, smurfing or trying to find a way to get easier lobbies. Because it's just incentivized, man. It's incentivized. There's no reason not to do it. Other than you just, you know, being an honest person, obviously. But not everyone is. Uh, do a lot of bigger COD streamers VPN to get easier lobbies? I don't know. There will definitely be that going on, though. It's incentivized. Bams were seen as cheating recently. Hmm. Engagement orientated matchmaking is what it's called. Yeah, so it is e e o. <laughs> Engagement orientated. Fucking hell. It's getting bad. The fuck does that even mean? I know that some prominent streamers in the COD... Well, I, I can't say no, but th there's there's definitely some sussy things going on. Plus, OG COD YouTubers were exposed for reverse boosting, aka low and MMO on purpose for clips years ago. Doubt it's suddenly not happening anymore. Yeah. Yeah. They're incentivized, man. It, it fucking makes the money. Like, you just need to be a dishonest person. That, that's it. And there's fuckloads of them, so... Golden blur. If you're just going for content, uh, content what's dishonest is still true. They won't tell people they're smurfing. They won't say they're in a lower level lobby. That's the dishonest part. They'll make people believe they're going against good players. <laughs> yeah, there's something I could uh, can react to. Flight is like only with his power. They build in clunkiness so survivors can outplay them with auto aim. Mm, I think Or I think Blight is way stronger than Orni. Unless unless Orni didn't need to like earn his power, he just got it. <laughs> um, then Orni would probably. I think Orni Orni had potential to be like the strongest killer in the game, right? If he if he was like always in his power, I'm pretty sure he'd be like the strongest in the game, even stronger than Nurse. Even though he does have a counterplay to it, it's just so strong. Ins and downs and really quick speed. 
good catch up too. One shot PTB twins. That won't go through, man. We'll have to see kind of what happens with that though, because the devs knee jerk react, don't they? So, are they going to go from the twins being better than nurse to the twins being worse than pig, for example? Oh, it's Doc, so very, very good Antelope. Gonna shift W. Found that guy. That sounds like discipline. That was a really, really quick. Ah, after the shock. That sounded like discipline. Yeah, right? Is there enough instant? It could be normal, but I think it's discipline. That's quick. He needs to pre drop or he's going to get hit here. He can't stop it. I mean, nice. It's not a nice try. It's really, really hard to loop, uh, Doctor. You need to pre drop that man. Okay, good. He can go for the window. I can't see it. He's doing good. Oh, we got him to break it, too. He just got that. Very nice. My detach. We know that he's broke this side, though. He had a detach straight into that as well, so not bad positioning. Oh, I almost didn't see. Yeah, Orny would be like one of the best uh, best killers if he was just in his power. 100%. He'd be probably the best. No problem, uh, Chucky. Appreciate you being here, man. What happened? Not a bad chase, that at all. Definitely a solid looper. Unlucky well, for us, number four weren't doing anything in all that time. He's going for a background, that's why. But he didn't, didn't get it, so it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's going to get his shot going, I would think. Bang. That's it. I need to keep options selecting because it's fucking doctor. I think I make this. Yeah, we can get to that window as well. It's on that run time. I think I get it. <laughs> Dude, the timing. Oh, I guess it though. Nice. The timing though, just in between his shots. That's a river's hook. <coughs> Ball ball. Nice, he missed. Damn. They were pretty much a 50 50. Unless maybe I went around. Yeah, but then he could have shocked again. I guess the 50 50 run. It's so only done two gens, you know. We should be on way more than two gens right now. If you're not a survivor, you'll always lose on the mark if you don't escape, even if you uh, start pre generators and chase with the five minutes. Yes, I do know that, yes. But last time I played Survivor, I got two really bad uh, teams back to back. I escaped one, the only escape person, the only person who escaped. 
Uh, and I got a hatch on the other one. So, even though my team was like terrible, I still uh, got the MMR raised. But I agree, it's not it's not a massively fleshed out system. But it's because the devs are lazy. They don't care. But it's not. Yeah, for sure you see. Uh, Jet. Oh, oh, fuck. That's not good. I should have just probably ran instead. What can I make here? Can I make that? Yep. Okay. Gen efficiency is low as fuck with this team, though. Holy shit. I, I, I noticed this last time I played with uh, this this guy. Uh, playing, I think it is. Oh, the gen efficiency is just low. Now, what the hell is that guy doing? He's just following him. Is he on death hook? Is that why? Oh, he is on death hook. I get it. We've been on three gens for like so long. Like this number two is doing such a good chase. He's not getting any reward for it. <laughs> it's just like. We're still just doing two gens. I think it's mainly because number four is literally not doing anything other than following. Oh. It's fine him going down. I'm gonna try and do this gen. Okay, they're gonna get that gen done. Good. Footprint That's going to block Branding that. Box. And then we can go back to that after we've done this. There we go. Uh, he got a super. The <laughs> pain riz. Always gets me that. Oh, he has Grim too. I don't think he has uh, Grim and Dead Man. If he does, it makes a bit more sense, I guess. No, he only has Grim. So me getting hooked. Oh, no, I've been hooked. Number uh, four getting hooked will uh, make Grim go everywhere as well. He's going to be paranoid about that gen over there, most likely. So this is a free gen to do. And then we just got that one. Or he's not going to be paranoid of that gen. No, he must be, man. Right? He wants number four for Grim, but that's not worth it, man. Number two is the one you go for. Mm, he might get him. I think that's him, isn't it? He's going to get a dead man here, but these gens are near enough done, so I might go for the body. Oh, never mind. He's going to get grim, but he got deadlock anyway, so it's not even going to give him anything hardly. Deadlock's what, 30 seconds? He gets 10 seconds more. Crash. He gets 10 seconds more on that gen. Oh wow, that's that's crazy. <laughs> He's just waiting there. <laughs> the thing is though, he's gonna know about that gen, you know, obviously. So it's going to go for them. That gen's going to be open to being worked on now. And uh, it's going to just be the second, right? Boom. Boom, perfect timing. Wow, it's a genius. Boom. Boom. Close. He wants him. I'm going to I'm gonna make him force push over here. Yeah, see. To get over there. Yeah, 
Yeah, Grim did fuck all. I think Grim's massively overrated though, personally. It gave him 10 seconds, man. They can all body block now. Not a bad team. Gen efficiency are a bit low in my opinion, but other than that, this guy needs to come this way and we could just body block him. It's a free escape, but he don't know. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> he wants more, that's why he's not picking him up. He might have been, he might have blood warden. Hmm. He wants more, he doesn't want just one, I get it. Yeah, dude. He might have blood warden. He's on death fucker, I don't know what they're doing. He's on a death hooker. Even less. Or is it the same? <laughs> no, it's the same. 40 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, Grimm's, Grimm's like kind of shit, I think, personally. Alright, one more and then we'll do the unknown game. I don't know what to react to. He was wondering what he were, uh, what was blocking the gens, wish he went towards the door. Yeah, he could have easily got him out, but it's solo, innit? He didn't, he didn't see us. That's why I like Bond. Like, if I was him with Bond and I saw all my teammates, I could run towards them. A comp match. Uh... I mean, I have that COD thing we could walk. Where there's something sus what goes on, and um, these people think that, uh, you know, what would I say? Is it Activision? I, I, I don't know who owns COD, um, but the people who own COD, the people, the developers and stuff, are kind of um, making excuses for them. Ghost vids. Yeah, we could see that. Someone said, um, Nuke. Top 10 has better uh, ghost vids, and I did see one where I, I uh, because I've seen Nuke Top 10, I've seen the other one, but there's one I haven't seen, I can see, and it, it says, Top 10 uh, ghost videos so scary you'll have gravy pants. We can, we can maybe check that. There's rumors that Activision are actively uh, allowing certain streamers, pros, to cheat. Yeah, that that that's why I was thinking about uh, checking. Maybe we could check that as well. Uh, not so much, uh, yeah, Yasmin. Um, oh, whoops. I was wearing um, glasses because I was getting a bit of headache. So I was just wondering, kind of why I were kind of thing um and it was eye strain but i'm not really getting it right now so there's no point i only really wear uh them glasses when i'm looking at something from far away like here i'm completely fine and it's mainly just my right eye as well not my left eye is fine it's right eye my right eye is astigmatism 
It's fucking annoying. Funny, I never noticed though. I never noticed throughout my whole life. So I stream yesterday on YouTube streaming cheats. How is that shit possible? They'll get banned. Awesome video about what? Oh shit! Yeah, I don't have that. I don't have the um, beams of light as stars. I don't have that. Well, maybe if I did that. No. Hey, stay sharp. Any beam gets reflected into like a star. Huh. Yeah, I do know uh, LASIK surgery. It's a bit scary. There's, there's a. The success rate is actually a lot lower than people think, I'm pretty sure. Like, it, it can fuck people up where they need eye drops, like, for the rest of their life and shit. It don't feel worth it. Like, it's annoying having glasses here and there, or contacts. But it just doesn't feel worth it, man. Don't feel worth, like, risking pretty much ruining your life. A saved isn't pretty, but weird. Well, I have it, but I don't see things being stars. <laughs> Mine's just kind of, like, double. More double, I would say. Or more blurry. Actually, not blurry. It's more blurry. Yeah. A chance of permanent eye dryness. Yeah, fuck that, right? No, it's not double, it's blurry. I don't know why I said double. It's blurry. You know, one guy who had laser eye surgery um, and said his sight was insanely good after compared to before he had it. I mean, that's what's supposed to happen, yeah. Um, we're talking about when issues occur. I mean, it'd be, it'd be a bit weird if uh, he went in and it, it weren't that. If, like, the common thing were, I had laser eye surgery and my eyes are fucked. <laughs> if that was, like, the common thing, I wouldn't get it. It definitely, like, can sort your eyes out massively. But it can also fuck you. Some people went blind after LASIK. Yeah, that's, like, I I'm not talking about, like, the, you know, the 0.0001% because that's in a lot of stuff. I'm talking about you know, 3%, 4%, so it's quite high, um, where they have, it, like, lifelong eye dryness, where they need to use eye drops every hour or something for the rest of their life. That shit is just fucking insane. Like, doesn't seem worth. And, like, 3 4% is a really, really high percentage. A really high percentage. <laughs> Get hell. 3 or 4 people out of 100. <laughs> good with glasses thank you just annoying because they dint your nose like they give you like these little dint like imprints on your nose which annoy me yours hurt your eyes no it doesn't hurt my eyes I just get the imprints I don't like them Surgery in his eyes changed the colour of his eyes. He now says they're blue. Oops. Oh, God damn it. Because one blew the wrong way. His eye colour changed to blue because one blew the wrong way. Yeah, I pretty much told him we were here. Yo, fuck. 
Yeah, look at. He might come for me as well. Oh shit, he is. Okay, I didn't know I could hit that. Nice. Something happening here is what we call a lazy eye. Yeah, I could have had a lazy eye. I um because my my left eye works way harder than my right eye. But for some reason my brain was like, no. Don't give it. So it didn't. But uh I could have actually had it. Apparently. That's what the uh eye specialist said, optician. They also said without um, the stigmatism, I'd have like really fucking good eyesight as well. They said I'd have uh, 2120 or 2121 or something. I can't remember what it were, but it was higher than 2020, which I thought was the highest. That curse, where you go? I didn't know I could do it. Not gonna lie, I've. Uh, Never gone against a Billy on this map. I don't know his uh, pathing at all. That's because I missed that skill check. It's because I was looking at chat. I was trying to read what that person was on about, but it didn't make any sense. Like he blew, blew his eye or something, and now his eyes blue or something like that. Just none of it made sense, so it kind of like threw me off. Twenty twenty is in perfect vision, it's thirteen thirteen. Yeah, I don't know. I just know that she said I had better than twenty twenty. Well, I would have had better than twenty twenty. And I'm pretty sure it's twenty one. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. I don't remember thirteen, so But I have an astigmatism, so it don't matter. It ruins it all. Yeah, astigmatism in my right eye as well. I won. I don't really care about healing. Fucking dead hard. This is probably smart to do anyway, since, since we had such a bad start. Twenty ten is the best possible vision, apparently. What's twenty one? Rose Marigold makes Sailor and Shiva seem loud. Oh yeah. So share the uh, two a uh, dollar. All I know is it said 20, uh, 21. I'm, I'm very, very confident it said 21. I could be wrong, but I'm like 9 amps and sure. 21, 20 maybe, or 21, 21. I really can't remember. I know there were a 21 in it, though. Because I didn't know it were a thing. I thought 20, 20 were perfect vision. There should be a gen here, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't matter anyway, I have astigmatism, so... Oh, I was gonna dead out into him, didn't work. And they're a better, like, I'm pretty sure this is a better, uh, yeah, this one looks better, right? Oh. I'm mending, though. I'm mending, you prick. <laughs> it's got hills everywhere, or, or things. The hills are alive, the sound of your thing. Nope.
Yeah, it's bad side. <laughs> oh, you hit me at the very end. Nice. Is that a pain, Rez? No, he just let go. Why let go? Just finish it. Hmm. Uh, okay, that was weird. Do 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 uh, sure. I think he crashed. I'm gonna have a look. Twenty one vision. Twenty twenty one vision correct for twenty twenty. Somewhere worse than no, no, it means that our size is within the normal range. We're pushing on no, no. twenty one no, no, no. twenty fifty. Ugh. Healthy Asking needs to go down to the 2015 level. Yeah, 2015 it enters good. 20... 2120. I don't really see much on it. I saw something here. My god, I want to read all this. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to, like, look into it. Well, there it is again. 2120. 2121. Consensus around these. 2100? 2100's bad. I don't know. Um... Anyway, none of it really matters because I have the astigmatism. <laughs> Guess the maniac by name. Do you mean the killer? Uh, what was this? Unknown? Case. The fuck is that? Oh, oh, you said that. Decreases the time until the next hallucination. Okay. Vanishing box. That's a good one. Tinker Discordance Pain Res Pop. Yep. <laughs> Do need Jesus. Uh, I'll be playing Ermac tomorrow, man. Because uh, he comes out way too late. When they say things come out, like today and stuff, it's usually uh, 
super lit. Is an unforeseen just a better tinkerer? Um, it's a bit different to tinkerer. There's no setup. But tinkerer got nerfed way too heavily. That I don't bother with it anymore. You only can use it once per gen. So, it got, it got nerfed quite heavily. If you don't get any use out of it on the gen, then you're not going to get any use at that gen anymore. Nah, he does not need any nerfs. Unknown's one of the, the more balanced killers in the game. And his hitboxes are completely fine. Uh, killer clowns from outer space isn't out yet, uh, Yasmin. Uh, Tallstar, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate it. Heavy inspiration from Corn on the Barbarian game from C64. Uh, oh, you're going to watch someone else. Ba ba. June the 4th. Okay. Oh, it's like Elden Ring time though, isn't it? When's Elden Ring out? In that June? As well. A bit later though, like 18 for something. <coughs> or was it July? You have a dentist appointment today and not looking forward to it. What kind of appointment though? Are they actually doing something? Or is it just a checkup? Who gives a shit about a checkup? Last time I went fucking dentist, I had a root canal. Fucking horrible. Fucking hate that shit. You wanna know why Chai isn't buying Elden Ring? Why are you not getting Elden Ring, Jester? Fuck you doing, man. <laughs> Fuck you doing. Boom. Ah, oh, thought I did it. Hello. Can you talk about fake heat again? If a tinker goes off now, we'll have a bit of an idea of like where to use pop. So that's like a positive right now. I'm guessing it's here. Yeah, it is. Hello? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> just thinking to avoid it so much, just don't even think about the mouse one. And the mouse one's gonna be way more damaging. Nice. 
would have been nice. Oh. Okay then. Yeah, yeah, is that fine. Go. That guy had like no awareness at all. Could be a, a below the buffer match. I've said before, a big teller below the buffer match is them not doing a gen. I should have hit that then gone over there, because that's probably gonna get Tinkerer. Whoops, it's fine though. Is this yours? Yours, yours. yours. Yeah, see. Let's see if we can stop it. Let's try and get a four man five gen. I don't know if we can yeah. though, because I don't have pop. Yeah. Hey, you bitch! It's my gen, bitch. <laughs> Or something. I think one and three are best. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I think it's below the buffer. It's, it's doing it's doing what happens when I go against below the buffer. Uh, this is a view build. So different. The game's so different when you go against like mid level. For some reason, they just don't do gens. Do, do, do. It's gonna be a balance, but it's too late. No, it's alright. Not this ma oh, she's well overcommitted. Not all this matters if they're not doing gens though, that's the thing. What I think people don't get. Like, I could go on for like, a fucking 10 hour chase. If they're not doing gens, it's not gonna do any impact, is it? That's why when I play Survivor and no one's doing gens, I'm like, why, why are they not doing the gens? <laughs> Ready for this one. Right. What is it? Good? Absolutely nothing. I think that's why DBD is so deceptive um, on what caliber you're going against for a lot of people. Because they can do alright loops here and there. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> That was a massive, massive waste of a god pile for no reason. He already had distance. There you go. Little hesitation. That was nice. Uh, it was a, it was a nice ish. It was too easy to react to though. What would have been nice is him baiting that. Now that would have been like you know top level, right? Because then he would have actually got something. I don't know why mid-level survivors don't do gens, man. They just don't. And the devs try and make them win. Um, yeah. These are the survivors who say that gen defense is uh, too oppressive, you know? And they don't realize it's just it's just them not doing gens. They did one. Maybe they're not as confident, scared of getting caught on a gen. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Two people are on that now. There's apparently three people alive. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's a bit on. Um, 75%. Um... Oh, 
I look like someone. Slap. <laughs> You're ready for this? No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, watch this one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Don't watch it. Where'd she go? Oh. I wanted to bounce it there. See? Would've been nice as well. Didn't even go back on it. Dooby dooby doo. Where are you? La 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 la. Yeah, fuck off, Jen. Oh wait, no. I won't pop. Oh. Then they missed a skill check. If I went against these with pig, we'd make pig look good. Because that's, that's what a lot of DBD is. Like, it's the people you go against what make things look strong or not. <laughs> GTA Online is a better example of for other devs that no matter what, people will spend a huge amount of money for MTX, tons of cheaters. Giving you money, get bans. I guess that's a whole whole conversation you're on about. Talking about GTA though, who's excited for GTA oh. seven? Right? Is it GTA seven or six? Six. GTA six. Who's excited for GTA eight? <laughs> who's excited for it though? I think the AI is going to be very, very impressive. <laughs> Will I let you escape? What if you went against me? If you were the last person, you give me an item, yeah? Romito, thank you for the prime if it didn't say. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, you just drop it, uh, Swinter. Yeah, I, th I think GTA uh, 6. <laughs> um... It's AI is going to be the most impressive thing. People are going to be kind of shocked by it. I don't know how. I don't know what they're going to do, but there's going to be something. I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident. It'll feel very, very real uh, how the AI reacts to you. I feel that. I feel that's what they're going to do. They've spent like a billion on it, or two billion or something, aren't they? Like it's some fucking insane number. Like it's going to be insane. <clears throat> AI conversations, the NPCs. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that it's going to be an, like, 
a lot of times Rockstar, the um, you know, they create that that new kind of goal for people or that new kind of limit, and I feel they do it again uh, with this. Give you Elder Scrolls Six, but that's Bethesda. Bethesda don't do that. Bethesda once upon a time did. They were kind of like Rockstar in that way, where they were creating these new benchmarks, as someone just said. You know, this 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 new like level that people didn't know existed. Um, but they stopped doing that pretty much. I'd say Skyrim is where it started. Like, would you say that's like the best? The last best one or something? I'm not sure. Because I feel like Fallout, a lot of Fallouts didn't really evolve much. The AI and, and how the NPCs move around and talk to each other is, it's not really, it almost feels like oblivion, honestly. It really does. Like, it feels like very, very close to oblivion. Which is crazy, if you think about it. When did oblivion come out? Anyone know when Oblivion came out? Elder Scrolls Oblivion. <laughs> just, you know, just wait then. Just, just relax. I'm just watching. Oh. Eyes is watching you. Oh. <laughs> I like that design on him. Oh, wait. Now we could just 99 this. Oh, sorry, hit this, go invisible, and then just uh, tap a 99. No. I let her go the right way. No, it's fine. Myers. Quite an underrated killer, as I always say. Yeah, you better fucking run away. Fucking Myers. Go oh, shower. Uh, I'll do what I want. <laughs> whatever, whatever. I do what I want. But seriously. Uh, what was that? Three and four. Oh, look at you. You were the one who fed me, weren't you? Weren't ya? Weren't ya, prick? Show yourselves to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now they don't realize who you are sometimes, man. Damn. I don't know why you do that, but sure. <laughs> Maybe she has DS as well. Ah, that's what. Okay. And now she gets somewhere safe because DS is fine as it is. Hmm, I can't hit this guy. He's gonna try and go that way. Maybe. No, I didn't. I can't stalk him. Otherwise, I would have stalked him there and gone for the uh, the insta down. Uh. Where do you think I were? Uh. You got these fucking gens. Uh. I guess that's the no. 
Breeze on death oak. Not quite really going over there. Other person's gonna go for the save. Thanks, girl, yeah. I almost feel like going for free again. She's a cocky little thing. Just because she has loads of fucking safe shit. Off the record into the DS. She's safe here. If someone goes for a body block here though, I can just uh, 99 them. So... You already have off the record. What are you doing? Is that an insta? I don't care. You, you'll just get, like, unmended. <laughs> There's the, uh, the body blocker. What we were looking for. Mm. I wanna... She's too confident because she's got loads of second chance shit. Don't make that. Do dumb. Wait, what? Was that because of uh, the insta heal? So she got dead hard back. Oh, for fuck me, man. Heal. She, she had the insta heal into dead hard. Fuck's sake, I didn't realize. I even said it as well. That's what's gonna happen. Nah, nah. I'm getting you, yeah, man. You have way too many second chances. You are way too overconfident. You are dying. I might throw the game to get a draw. You <laughs> <laughs> bitch. I get why she's overconfident. Insta heal, off the record, DS. I get it. I hate her because she was teabagging, by the way. That was that to them. Alright, we want to tap for one person, but I don't know who. How's the killer? Hey, she started it, man. I was, uh, I was end it. Or well, I tried to end it, at least. Say fuck down, lad. Say fuck down. Don't you dare touch it. Insta heal, dead hard, off the record, DS. Da 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 damn. Yeah, that's a hard thing to kill. Okay, they're not there. Huh? So they're not these three. It looks like they're probably at that one, but it's really far away, so I don't care. Which way am I coming? Whoa. Whoa. Probably should be able to get a pain res. Uh, she found something. That one we're going to be done. Mm, is this regressing? Yeah.
Really? You were trying to go back here, were you? These gens are split massively, though. Crazy big gen split. Her blood just stops. Cool. Hey. So he must be over here then. Or over there. Because that hit him. Death so BS. It, it works fine. Like, them buffing it is the most fucking. fucking circus like thing they've done for a while, man. Like, it legit works. There's a reason why it's fucking S tier. Fucking weird. Buffing meta perks, like, oh. It's not just a, like a new meta perk, it's been meta since its release. Uh, nah, whatever. Hello? What about the other? Oh. Hello? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I thought she'd fall for that. Baba boom. Baba boom. Baba boom. Nice. First time she made a right read on making sure. I think I just made a read on her there though. Get that distance. There's definitely way more survivor nerves. Oh no, nowhere near. Nah, no, Killer's been the one with the uh, the shit end of the stick. It's just that the majority play survivor and the majority play survivor poorly that they can't see how much shit the killer's actually had. Bing, bing, bing. Way more nerfs to Survivor. Merpa can uh, inform us all of how uh, what nerfs you're on about. What game game changing nerfs? Like the only thing I hear people say is, well, Survivors can't infinitely loop you anymore. Well, no shit. Like, <laughs> you think that was a good idea? Or oh, brand new parts don't insta do gens anymore again. Four gens in three seconds. Like, th these are like really justified nerfs. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's a big difference between like buffing a meta perk, which makes no sense, or nerfing uh, a perk which actually is quite healthy for the game. Like Ruin, for example. I thought Ruin was quite healthy. Uh, nerfing that, then nerfing, I can finish a gen in one second with brand new part, for example. There's a massive difference there. Massive, massive difference. Uh, but let's let's hear what are the uh, what are the survivor nerves? The nerf made for this after eight months. <laughs> like the meta perks for survivor, for pretty much since the release, or at least when they came out. 
have been Adrenaline, DS, Unbreakable, Off the Record is new now, Dead Hard, um, obviously Instas, right, ridiculously powerful, um, and then what else? Windows is a bit, Windows is like a question mark, it's very good Can though. Uh, live, all, all the, the Spring Burst stuff, so Balanced Live, Balanced Balance. They're still using them. Choice. All these perks Maybe they're still using. Killer keeps changing what they have to use. Uh, you got any noodles? We need to do a react, man, but I don't know what on. End game collapse. That's what I mean. So you, you think end game collapse is like a nerf to... I don't know how it's a nerf to Survivor in general, but like you think that's like a big event in the game? End game... If you actually look at like the nerf to Survivor, a lot of them aren't really trying to like nerf Survivor. They're just trying to make it so the game's playable, right? The reason they added end game collapse, if I remember correctly, is Survivors used to hijack the game where the killer was just stuck in the game until they wanted to leave, right? <laughs> but that's what always happens when you talk about all the nerfs uh, survivors ha have had. But I've said about this, how it's kind of like an echo chamber, right? Where this person will say, you know, it's all this kind of stuff. And I'll explain, like, endgame collapse was, like, to stop this really bad thing happening. Brand new parts, insta-completing gens was obviously really stupid. Running to a loop you physically could never get caught was obviously really stupid, right? But they can go uh, on Twitter or Discord or wherever where it's full of just disc uh, uh, survivor players with the same exact mentality and they just get validated. So everything I'm saying is kind of wasted energy anyway. Killers can hold survivors hostage and that's fine. How do they hold them hostage? Uh, no, it's not fine if, if there's uh, ways to hold people hostage. But you, you're, um, you're kind of de derailing or you're, you're going on a tangent. I'll react to more horror compilations. Is that a new one, No Life? Or is that uh, one we've seen? There's um, there's another one we could check, potentially. Uh, first, we need to display a game, though. Um, Bars are gonna win tonight, my thoughts. Don't know. Who are they versing? Pain Rays, Surge, Agitation, Blood Echo. I assure you, though, um, Survivor has not been nerfed as uh, heavy as Killer. Um, just like in recent memory, right? The Killer can't stay near a hook. They get a the free... Um, they get a... What is it? A free... A, a free uh, unhook, I guess you could say. I was going to say 4%, but it doesn't make sense. Um, you, uh, when you get off hook, this is like a buff to Survivor, but it's nerfed to Killer. Uh, you get 10 seconds of invulnerability and 10 seconds faster speed. Um, killers can't even kick a gen eight times anymore. Uh, what else? Um, I mean, that's just off the top of my head. That's free, like, bad things for, for killer. Really bad things. Flashlight's easier. That's a buff to survivor, yeah. Massive buff. Survivors at the moment have, like, really broken perks still not being fixed for the people buckle up and background play player. They're broken as fuck, man. They are, they are broken perks, especially in a Swift. Swift has never had any balance to it at all, so it's always the, the dominant thing in DBD, the most imbalanced thing in DBD, uh, and just continues to be so. Um, blood. Oh, wait. Uh, where was the... Oh, that was my choice, okay. That's all I'm looking for. Uh, usually I go for these. Just so, in case they don't cleanse, I can uh, grab more. Nah, I don't really care about Premier League teams, honestly. Uh, 
I uh, made an actual list from survivor nerfs to killer. You'd see it. Well, just say, Mer, just say. The downside is you probably won't change your mind. Um, but it is still... I mean, it's interesting to me just to see a different perspective. One percent is the power position. One hundred players out of like ten thousand. What's that mean? I don't know what that means. You think one percent players swift or something? Is that, is that the the thing? You're just speculating. Try to use objective stuff, not speculation, because speculation won't go anywhere really. It's even worse. Yeah, flashbangs are silent. Flashbangs can blind you from behind. So even when you're looking at a wall, you still can get fucking flashlight saved. Yeah, there's that. Soon DS is getting buffed. People are wanting Unbreakable to be at base. The UI, the Survivor UI, like one of the fucking biggest buffs and the biggest nerfs to killer probably the game's ever received. It's so easy to think of. What are, what are these like really amazing things killers getting? I'm, I'm I'm kind of I don't know what it is. <laughs> what has killer got? What's really good? Like recently. Umbra um When you put someone on the floor, they um they don't lose their wiggle state. So when you put someone down, you can't pick them back up. They're immune. Uh, they've made um, getting up off the floor easier as well. It, you can 99 your health state. You didn't used to be able to. It was 75%. Uh, now you can 99 it so you can get people off the floor really quickly. Like, holy shit, the list goes on. It's so easy to think of. It's so easy to think of like all all the buffs. Uh, and and what, what buffs has Killer had? I, I, like, I can't think of something. Like, the best thing the killer had, and this is where people said it was like a massive killer-favoured patch, where they could break a pallet, I think it was 0.1 second quicker or something. Um, when they hit a survivor, they stop running about 0.2 seconds um, faster. So they, they lose a bit of distance, don't matter, still get to loops. Uh, and there were one more, maybe pick people up quicker or something. It was all like meaningless stuff. <laughs> because it, it had no impact on anything. And people said it was killer favored patch. Survivors legit run one of the biggest disinformation campaigns I've ever seen or heard of. Uh, it's actually it some dystopian government level psyop shit. They don't want you to look back and see them exploiting old DVD because they're all angels. <laughs> Can't be us waiting for him to uh, break. I'm just kind of waiting for the. Uh... I, I I like it, it's. It's surprising to me with the uh, killers are getting all this and survivors aren't getting anything kind of speech because it just I don't know what what are they watching? I don't think I can hear that. Yeah, gear. Maybe it's not biased, but it's actually just being objective. And ironically, you know, these people who are saying this about Survivor are the biased ones. Because we ask for information and we never get it. Like, you have to give information for then you to be like, oh, now they're biased and we're ignoring it. That's fair enough. But like, what information are you giving? I've given fuckloads of information. What are they? What are all these killer buffs, man? Like, what, I, I'm waiting. I, I, I genuinely don't know what a killer buff were. <laughs> I've given like factual evidence where you can back up by looking into the wiki or whatever. I, I kind of what's happened and what's been added but somehow that's bias because the other side who's saying oh no that's incorrect it's really the survivors uh who are the ones of uh who are like haven't got anything and killers again everything but haven't provided any evidence it's apparently biased to be like where's the evidence like fuck you know and of course it's gear saying it as well <laughs> 
I'm here, the one who always needs to oppose everything I say. <laughs> no matter what it is. Uh, fuck me. Uh, Gear is on YouTube. He uh, he pretty much disagrees with everything I say. At this point, it's like he's trying to. <laughs> Which is fair enough. It's just kind of humorous. At this point, I think it might just be outright malicious. They know the devs will listen to whatever is popular on Twitter, so they'll screech about anything killers do to win or when the killer gets even the smallest buffs. Well, I don't care about like any of that. I'm just trying to work out what these killer buffs are. Like, I, I uh, is that it? We just say these killer buffs and we just accept it? Ah! Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. How was that a conversation? I guess I'll just, I won't say anything until someone says some killer buffs, which are like some recent killer buffs, and they're killer buffs that weren't actually needed because they were actually broken. Like it was like a broken thing what needed fixing, like a, like God Loops, for example. Right, I'm not gonna say anything until someone says something. Because there's nothing to respond to. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's a bot, that's why. I wonder, I wonder what he was doing. I was like, what is he trying here? Is he. Oh, it's a bot, that's why, okay. <laughs> Hello. Nice, I just committed to see if she's there. Boss are so weird, they're terrible. Boss are absolutely terrible. I haven't kept a uh, hook cow here, so I could end up, win uh, end up losing even with a bot. That should be it. By the way, the reason I haven't mentioned anything yet, still no one said anything regarding it. Right? Like... What a surprise. So weird, like all these nerf survivors are getting, all these buffs killers are getting. I'm still, I'm still waiting. <laughs> it's how easy it was for me to say how many nerfs the killers were getting, how many buffs the survivors were getting, because it's reality. Doesn't seem so easy to uh, say the opposite, though, does it? Almost sounds like it's uh, made up. The bog cleansed. Medkit changes. The survivor's got uh, slower heals on medkits. There you go, yeah, that's something. Is that it? <laughs> I think they uh, they did the medkit thing, by the way, uh, because they wanted t uh, survivors to be more team oriented and not just bring like a powerful medkit and just do everything solo. But at least you said one thing. I'm still not sure how that's like the survivors getting loads of nerfs and the killers getting buffs. But at least at least you've got something right now.
10 seconds added to the gens. Hasn't done anything though, has it? Gens are still way too fast compared to the killer's objective. So would you call that like a game changing thing? I wouldn't. Gens still fly. That 10 seconds they added is completely meaningless. It's still enough, yeah. But it doesn't do anything. Like, just like the killer buffs don't do anything. Like, if you're, if you're stretching so hard to find, like, bad nerfs that they keep nerfing on Survivor, uh, and all these buffs that they give to killer, and you have to go for, for, for stuff that doesn't actually impact the game, then, I, you know, I think you're positioning correct. Like, the UI buff, for example. Do you realize how impactful that is? How powerful that is for Survivor? And you're talking about adding 10 seconds to a gen? The UI is insane. The UI is made like good players. Super, super good. They have become way, way more efficient. See, whenever killers get a substantial buff, it always comes with a catch. Survivors can't gen rush as easy, but the three gen strat is far less effective because it wasn't fun for the survivors. They give survivors <laughs> something, and it's just for free. He sounds so angry, that guy. Uh, whatever. I don't want to have that us versus uh, them or whatever. Like, it's just stupid and childish. I was just trying to get, like... You know, an idea of it. all killers really getting buffed more than Survivor. I don't think they are. You know, I think overall in the whole aspect of it, I'm pretty sure Survivor's getting more buffed objectively overall. Uh, there will be some buffs here and there uh, for both sides and some nerfs here and there for both sides. But the nerfs far outweigh or more, are far more damaging on the killer side than the Survivor side. That's what I see objectively. And you can disagree, it's fine. But I, I can't be also that pay us versus them bullshit. It's two stars on a video game, you know. No, dude, I didn't ignore them. I fucking addressed them. The guy on YouTube said it's disingenuous to ask for examples and then ignore them. How the fuck were I ignoring them? Like, how do people not... Oh, it's so weird to me. How do people listen but not listen? Like, what do you think I was just speaking about just then? Do you think I was just going... Is that what you hear? Like, I'm, I'm literally... Yeah, I might have missed some. I might have missed some. I won't be able to see them while I'm playing a game. Do you genuinely believe from them the, the examples you've given me, they're way more impactful, because that was the whole point, than the killer nerfs and the survivor buffs? Like, do you think the killers got buffed way harder than the survivor? Or nerfed uh, way less than the survivor, genuinely? Nice. Boon nerfs. <laughs> I think the thing that people are uh, misunderstanding. Let's try pig. Nurses calling. Pig, yeah. Hook, floods of rage. Alien instinct. Nowhere to hide atoms. Amanda's secret. You got it, man. Ten degrees too. I think what what people are misunderstanding is not who's been nerfed or who's been buffed. Both sides have been nerfed and been buffed. What we're talking about, who, ha who has been more buffed or more nerfed, right? And the examples you've given are not strong enough for, you know, the, the buffs what have been given, right? Or the nerfs what have been given. Like, I get it, both sides have been nerfed. 
but I believe um, Killer has been way, way more nerfed than Survivor. And Survivor's been way more buffed as well on top of it. Of course, both sides have had buffs and nerfs. It just depends on the intensity of it. You see? Not to mention behavior seems to have caught on that they can sell you killer meta perks and you won't complain because they keep nerfing everything good. They get enough from survivor skins, so they're trying to wring pennies out of killers. <laughs> That's fucking... Oh, dude. That's fucking funny. He sounds so angry. <laughs> Did we get rid of this? <laughs> yeah, right. It sounds like proper angry. Oh, I think they get that, nice. Well, they would have. That was a free escape. Ah, she ran back. Oh, wait, she's cleansing. It's that little fucker. But she ran away again. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's actually quicker that way. Nice. Not bad, though, to say we weren't really concentrating. Um, but they did have uh, a rage quit. <laughs> but you can't play killer and not concentrate. You haven't taken the dev seriously com uh, since they compared this game to hockey. Yeah, no, I don't either. I just find it interesting that they think that uh, Killer has been like... How do I say? It's so crazy. Uh, I think the nerf to, uh, to Killer and Survivor is literally just apples to oranges. I don't. I think the Killer the killer nerfs and the Survivor buffs have far outweighed uh, one another. <clears throat> Especially when hockey's not asymmetrical. Yeah, the hockey one was well bad, I agree. Pig. God. Talk about nerfs. Pig. Pig's fucking well bad now. Uh, nurse calling Flood's alien instinct. What is that? Oh. The fuck? That's kind of like Friends to the End, whatever it's called. Where? When you hook a survivor, uh, that's not the obsession. The obsession becomes exposed for any seconds and revealed the aura. When you hook the obsession, another survivor screams and reveals their position. When you hook someone, the furthest. You go, okay, so you see the aura, but it's of the furthest. And that's the upset. It's very similar. Okay. And what was the other thing? Nowhere. See if we can make pig work, man. I can't figure her out. Mine is secret. I'm rule set. Furthest injured survivor. Oh, really? Oh, shit, yeah. Okay, so they need to be injured. Which actually isn't the worst thing, actually. Yeah, they're making it where you can't, you, you can't even grab survivors, either. That's something I didn't even think about. Um, cute cry. Usually I can't answer that stuff because you give me these hypotheticals where I need to literally create a new reality. But that one I can kind of because before Twitch I was uh, on the road to uh, being a graphic designer or advertiser, uh, going into uh, advertisements. Um, 
And I would have probably tried to work my way up or even create my own company in graphic design. Uh, that's probably what my goal would have been. Because when I went full-time uh, streamer, um, I graduated like just a few months prior in uh, graphic design. And I also had, um, well, I could have got two or three places, but they were shit, so no, fuck that. Uh, but there were one um, which wanted me back because I went for placement there, uh, which was a really good advertisement place, but I didn't know if I wanted to do advertisement. So I can actually answer that because I was on that path, so it's easier to answer. But when you talk about some other stuff, then it's like, I can't answer that because I don't fucking know. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, just some of the thumbnails. I literally spend about three minutes on them. I'm not lying. Like, I, I spend a really, really quick time on the thumbnails <laughs> when I do them. I don't know what we're reacting to, guys. Um, I guess we can watch a nuke top 10 and just... Yeah, we'll, fuck it. We'll just watch that. And maybe the COD thing. Maybe the COD thing. I want to at least react to some, like one thing a day. But sometimes there might not be anything. More DVD gameplays. Tech video. Maybe. Well, I mean, I've got that. I've got the um. I've got the nuke thing up. True crime. I've probably seen it. Quite long as well, aren't the true crimes? Only like an hour or two hour. Oh, this is gonna be painful. Pig is so bad now. Let's see, let's see. Nice. I don't know why he went over there slowly. I'm assuming he didn't want to. I don't know. Start a chase or whatever. I don't know what he was thinking. But it gave me a free hit. Ooh, I have movement too. Save live. Maybe. That was bad movement as well though. Rage quit. Okay, maybe, maybe it's just a... Uh, on a bad game. Oh, it's not very good. This guy just wasted a pallet. I'd say that was a waste, man. Personally, using God Pala like that just to get a stun. Well, I didn't even know we were there. Waste. Because he could have uh, jumped through the window. Is that a hit? No. One's over to this though. Nice. So if you get them in that position and then start it really quickly, there might be a chance. It depends if she runs up though. She didn't run up, so I won't be able to tell because that would have been the smarter play. Like running up that way. She decided to double back, which I don't think was the smart play. Oh yeah, they might have got rid of the names. Unless... Ah! Not sure. Got rid of this pallet, right? So what's it gonna do now then? Grimburst? Hello. Ah! This guy was quite cocky, I felt like. I don't know why. He used a lot of resources for no reason. Maybe just for trying, like, thinking he were doing good players or something. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, everyone's in, uh, healed, that's probably why. Hello? What? Huh, okay. Do 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 do. I saw that guy's or oh, it's because of uh, floods. Yeah, it feels like it might be. It's doing what usually happens. They're not playing too smart. They've only done one gen. We've got no gem regression. So yeah, it looks like it to me. Yeah, I would say. Has anyone done a smart move yet? I'm not sure. Guys, waiting there. Let's see if I can get in. Yeah, look at that. Like, I can get him out of fucking Dungle Gym. Yeah. I think someone might be here. Maybe they'll go for the save? No. I think they are here as well. You can see it when it's mid level, man. But I said, like, the easiest tell is the gen progression. I, I've always said that to you. Like, you can't tell gen progression. They've done one gen. This is YouTube MMR. I think it's even lower than this one. I think YouTube MMR is fucking uh, low. Because they, they go against killers who... Uh, Mystery 60s back to back, right? Will the bot... What will the bot do here? <laughs> I don't, I don't, the boss won't think at all. Uh, this was a request game, yeah. That's well, I mean, in obvious. Look at the uh, perks. Ah! As a killer who gets fob teched a lot, you get attacked. <laughs> you get fob teched a lot, dude. There's nothing wrong with you being mid level or low level, man. Like. It's weird, this generation. It's really weird. And I'm not just saying that with you, I'm just saying in general, like... How devs are just trying to make any level of player feel like they're good. No matter how bad you are, no matter how good you are. They just want everyone just to feel the same. Like, everyone needs to be kind of like, you know... What's the word? Quartered in cotton. Which is really bad, I feel, because, you know, life's not like that, man. <laughs> life's brutal. I guess they want it to be like a safe space, you know, gaming's like a safe space where, oh, everyone's all perfect and all nice and, oh, just compliments and do do. I don't know, man. It just seems very fake. Forced. That was a good detach. That's, yeah, that's just cow loop. That's what else he does. Does he still have this pallet here? Oh my god. Yeah. You want people calling you a piece of shit every match? No, no, no. Just because you don't want to be quartered in cotton and lied to, to, to you know, save your ego and shit, uh, doesn't mean you want the complete polar opposite. No, 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 that's not how it works. There isn't just two complete polar opposites. Uh, there's a lot in between. I actually need to be careful here. Because I'm pig. And she can easily just lose when I'm not concentrating. So let me just concentrate. Is this the bot? No, it's not. There's a trap guy. Can I make this? <laughs> that decision making. And then the teleport. 
Yeah, I'm pig with no gen defense, so let me let me just work out who's on what hook. Also gets it up. All right, so freeze on death hook, and we got this guy. Are oh, you on death hook? I hope you are. He's gonna regret getting rid of that god pal as quickly as he did. Nice. Hopefully he's on death hook. You gonna dead off? No. Once you see the ball animation, it's a guaranteed down. Ooh. Fucking half oh. was real, man. I was like, god damn. Just because I work on strain. Is this guy dead? I hope he is. Ah. Okay, thank fuck. Okay. But one gen all of a sudden. That's balanced, completely quiet, very nice. Balanced landing. That's the bot. I think the bot's dead as well, so we'll just commit to him. And then she has a crap, so we should be able to get the win. Alright, let's see how the bot's thinking. Medium. <laughs> they do everything so easy. This is how the bots view the game. I don't know, fucking hell. This is how the devs view the game. Maybe a Freudian there. <laughs> a bit of a Freudian slip. But this is how the devs view the game, innit? Where you're like medium vaulting these places that good survivors festival. Hey, true three. Uh, we need to find number three to get a win. But glad to be here and hope you're doing there he is. Well. Alright, Jeej. Uh, thank you. Uh, you too as well. Appreciate you. And yeah, I'm alright. Still just the same. Very blunt. Honest. Well, I don't want to say they're honest. I am, but like, you saying that you are makes it like, hmm, But really. well, you're not blunt. I'm blunt as fuck. Uh, say literally what I'm thinking, just like then. So, yeah, same. I'm same. Um, same shit. Same person you know on from first time I stream. No more mature. It's so obviously my mind's changed a bit. <coughs> uh, but yeah, appreciate the 23 a month, man. Big fan of viable, yeah. Possibly, uh, Deco. Possibly. How oh, dare you be honest and not align with my views. Yeah. Is this guy, like, being serious? I only just escaped. Easy. <laughs> I should have fucking concentrated. <clears throat> no, they're not trolling. This is what I'm talking about with the, um, you know, the devs kind of deceiving people and telling everyone they're all good and stuff. This is a below the buffer person, and they're saying that I was easy and things. It's just illusion. Hopefully they get to um, the higher level and uh, 
See how, see how they fare. <laughs> That'd be funny. They probably won't, though, because they barely won this, and I weren't concentrating. I thought I was playing pig with no gender fence. <laughs> she didn't escape. Oh, my God. <laughs> she didn't even escape. I thought it was the one who escaped. <laughs> Oh god, it makes it even worse. These fucking players, man, I swear. There was this person. Yeah. They're not getting to top level. They'd struggled against a pig with no gender fence, and I weren't concentrating. Yeah. There you go. It was a private. Um. All right. Let's, because I, I want to uh, react to something. Uh, let's uh, check that nukes top 10 then, all right? So we did this last time, um, where we, we kind of uh, were saying, do we think it's real? Do we think it's fair? We can maybe check the uh, the COD thing as well. I've got that up. Um, but yeah, we're going to we're gonna kind of just say if it's real or fake, right? I, I'm quite skeptical. Jordan Curran. Um, well, that comes on, like, straight away. They do, don't they, I've noticed. They, can, they come on, like, straight away. Uh, I'm quite sked skeptical with this stuff, but I will, you know, if something has some validity, I will, uh, I will say, all right? So, oh, you can't see. Um, this is top 10 ghost videos. So scary, you'll have gravy pants. So I'm not, I'm not sure about this one, but let's see. Um, together. And at the end of it, We'll uh, see what we think. Like, you know, I'll give my take and then, you know, you guys can say your take and see if there's anyone who thinks there's any validity in it, all right? So let's say Jordan Curran and his two children were enjoying a quiet night at an Airbnb in Anchorage, Alaska. It's late in the evening when the kids fall asleep in Jordan's arms and he takes a video to preserve this precious moment. What happens next absolutely scares the out of him. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh my god, I'm so. F oh my god, look, legit goosebumps. Oh my god. What the f is that? Jordan hears a creepy growl, and when he looks at his phone, he spots the dark silhouette of a figure with no visible features standing right behind him. He jumps up and spins around, but there's nothing there behind him. He jumps up and spins around. But there, there's nothing there. The figure has disappeared. To this day, Jordan still has no idea who or what was in the room with him and his children. He still worries about what might have happened if he hadn't been awake. Oh, the grip. Hmm. Don't ask someone in hold. Yeah, I fucking hate how people lie. Like, they can lie, man. Because then we could see this and we'd be like, oh shit, they're all real. And then we'd just know. Um. I don't know, man. Uh, do, you, do you think he was acting? Because once we figure out if he was acting or not, or if he weren't, then it could have just been like some kind of the way the light were. He seemed kind of like he were, but why would he set everyone up the way they did and they looked like they were asleep? Like, why would he wake them up for content? Or do you reckon he told them? Because <laughs> your parents. 
Yeah, because like they're they're chilling, aren't they? Like his his kids are like fully asleep. They look like. And they... <laughs> Who films that scenario? Yeah, true. Kids having kids. Yeah. Fake was uh, it was right, but he had to find near legs. Hmm. It is weird. If he Let's see his acting again. Oh my. Nothing here. Nothing here. He's instantly saying, look guys, nothing here as well, which is a bit weird. Would you say that? Like you saw that, would you go, guys, look, nothing here. That is a bit weird, I guess. Maybe. Nothing here. Nothing here. And he's looking around loads of places as well, as if like, look, look, they're not hiding. So it seems like he's straight away giving evidence, which is a bit weird, isn't it? Hmm, he's trying to convince. Like... Nothing here. Nothing, nothing here. Nothing yeah. here. Look, guys. Look. Nothing. Oh my god. I'm so. F oh my god. Look. Legit goosebumps. Don't look like it's a goosebumps oh either. God. Oh my god. I'm so. F oh my god. Look. Legit goosebumps. Oh my god. What the f is that? Jordan hears a creepy growl, and when he looks at his phone, he spots the dark silhouette of a figure with no visible features standing right behind him. He jumps up and disappears. And isn't awake. Oh, oh, the grip. Yeah, I, I would say it's really weird that he instantly goes, "Look, guys, nothing here, nothing here." I think he says that, which I think is really weird. If you saw that behind you, you would like. If you saw that behind you, would you go, "Oh crap! Look, nothing here, nothing here." That's the weird part. So I think I think that's where it messes up. So yeah, I think I think you fucked up by doing that. You throw your form, yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to get like he's trying to um give evidence, right? So yeah, I'd I'd say fake on that. A lot of them seem to be like this we've only seen one what had some kind of validity, but it probably weren't a ghost. It was probably either night terrors as some people have said, or an earthquake, right? Potentially. Of the grave. So this one. Jimena Barone, an Argentine star with more than 6 million Instagram fans, usually posts glimpses of her daily life as she travels, acts, and sings. But one day she posts a video on her Instagram story that is very out of character. The video is security footage that shows Jimena hanging out at her friend's house in Argentina. Something happens that Jimena says still gives her chills to this day. I didn't say anything. Jimena says she felt something forcibly touch her back. She jumps up and turns around, expecting someone to be there, perhaps playing a prank. There's no one. But did you see it? No. Well, probably not, because this video looks like it was shot with a potato. But after posting the video no, to don't. Instagram, Jimena's worried fans pointed out that in the video they see two ghostly hands grabbing at her head and right shoulder. Jimena says that she is shocked and doesn't know what to do other than to just move on and try to forget. Since then, Jimena has never posted anything more about the paranormal. Hmm. Posted anything more. It's not like that it's always blurry, isn't it? But you do see that about the paranormal mimic posted is move on and try to forget since then Jimena has never posted anything more about the forget as they ghostogram Jimena's looks like it did you see it well not sure the, the full one this day Huh. Looks like a... Almost like a... 
quite organic reaction because it's almost like she's saying to her like i just felt some something like touch me and then she's like oh my god you know kind of like oh don't say that hmm looks that like bad cgi yeah it could be Jimena says she felt something forcibly touch her back. Yeah. She jumps up and turns around, expecting someone to be there, perhaps playing a prank. There's they're not no they're not massively playing up to it though. A lot of people who fake, they do play up to it, right? They're not massively playing up to it. But again, it could just be, you know, for attention, right? Uh that lady walking away is you, yeah. She's smiling low after. Yeah, that's some people might. Like if, if somebody's touched you, you might be like, you know, it's people uh, deal with fear in different ways. Some people do smile and laugh even. A one. But did you see it? Hmm. That's that's probably the best one we've seen so far, I would say. It's not overacted. Apparently they haven't posted anything else. Her her friend's reaction well, looked kinda legit. Not because this video looks like it was shot with a potato. But after posting the video to Instagram, Jimena's worried fans pointed out that in the video they see two ghostly hands grabbing at her head and right shoulder. Jimena says that she is shocked and doesn't know what to do other than to just move on and try. Thirty-eight months. Woo, true love. Uh, thank you, Pancakes. Appreciate it. Also, a Japanese name for the five hundred yen. I think it is right. Uh, thank you, man. Um. Oh, that's the best one so the far, in my opinion. And doesn't know and Jimena has never posted anything more about the paranormal. Man. I'd say question mark on that, man. I, I think the what we've seen with the hand or whatever, that might just be a coincidence, but I do think it looks legitimately like she felt like someone touched her. But I don't know. You could just plan it and just be like, oh, I'm just going to do this. You know, people lie, right? So real. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'll say question mark on that. That's, I think that's the best one so far. What do you think? I just seek intention. Yeah, I mean, can be, can be. 100%. That restaurant was jamming. Uh, everyone would walk up like that, and how quickly she walked up to it. Look, it looked quite organic. I'd say that's the best one so far. Um, I genuinely feel she might have felt like something touched her, <clears throat> but that's uh, that's what I think. I don't know what year it was. Is it both? Could have been. I genuinely feel that something touched her. Um, so she felt something touch her, but it could have been, it could have been anything, right? It looked like it. It looked like it. But then they could have edited, possibly, possibly. Melody Th that's, Rose that's from Los Angeles, so California, is recording a TikTok video about perfume when something very strange happens. Okay, if you're like me and you're looking for a new signature scent that like will have you needing to beat off men beat off pause but you know what i mean like oh, the six, six, six. To beat them why what is she saying beat off this? i mean needing to beat off men beat okay. off pause but you know what i mean like oh you don't have to beat them beat i see it goes hey beat off pause like we'll have you needing to beat off men beat off pause but you know what i mean like you won't have to beat them what let me rethink this basically everybody will hunt you down and be like what are you wearing because one time i had left the room and this chick followed me and she was like even though you're no longer in the room i can still smell you what is that bitch this oh, call. and i keep buying the discovery this is terrible sets. one because they're cheaper two because this brand has so many scents that i'm like which one do i even love like i don't know i'm leaning towards the arabians Tonka. it almost sounds like a kid just to say mom. One, because they're cheaper. Two, because this brand has so many scents that I'm like, which one do I even love? Like, I don't Almost know. Like I'm mom. the Arabian mom? Tonka. I think that's how you say it. An unidentified childlike voice can be heard <laughs> saying, hey, and melody. 
with Where's being Melody? off pause, but you know, it's that I'm like, which one do I even love? Like, I don't know. Now, Melody doesn't hear this voice at all and is completely unaware of what she just Oh, is her name captured. Melody? So she switches to another topic. So the ghost fucking says her username. Fuck off, this is a stupid one. Topic and records another video. But then she hears it. Okay, first of all, why didn't anyone tell me no. that if you have sh Yeah? Fuck me. This is bad. My bad. So I forgot. I didn't think about it. I'm home alone. And I thought... I thought someone called me and I'm... That I'm home alone. Who are you talking to? Melody. I can hear someone moving. What the fuck? You can hear them. There's people, there's someone moving to the side. You hear that? This is well bad. Maybe it was my cat and she sounds like a human. Sometimes. <laughs> that was you, right? Right? Someone calls out Melody's name loud enough that she actually answers back. Okay, first of all, why didn't anyone tell me well. that if you have sh Yeah? But then Melody remembers something creepy. She's home alone. Mm. She immediately begins to freak out and the voice calls her name again. Melody. Now equally strange, a creepy hissing or breathing sound can be heard in the audio of her entire recording. So after posting the video to TikTok, many viewers believe that Melody is dealing with a mimic. A type of entity that copies the voice Talking of its TikTok, target guys. and their family in an attempt to take over their life. But others believe that it might simply just be a malfunctioning Amazon Alexa. But Melody says that she has no Alexa devices in her home. Another thing, Alexa, I don't have an Alexa. So is Melody in danger from a supernatural force? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. There's literally just someone in the Scream. room. Sierra J. K. Fake, right? Obviously, fake as fuck. Let's move on. Casey, a concerned Sorry, mother really and TikTok user, has been noticing some very strange behavior from her daughter. Uh, how can, how can they even? Home. One day, the toddler comes running out of her bedroom. There's, there's like no effort, dude. Like she's literally just going, like with a phone, and then she's got someone being like, Melody. <laughs> like there's no effort. Okay, and refusing to go back. They talk's well bad. TikTok user Sierra is worried that something might have happened and checks the footage on her ring nanny cam. What she discovers shocks her to her core. Yeah, wait, well, said stop, let's see. The toddler stands in her room looking around and seemingly confused. Then a loud scream pierces the air, sending the little girl running for mommy. Dude. Are these fucking parents doing this to fucking kids? <laughs> like, are they just fucking putting like a noise there just so they get noticed on fucking TikTok? Fuck. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that just sounds like they've just put something like to make a noise and then tape the reaction. Fuck it, Al. Just for TikTok fame. Sierra J. Casey says her daughter claimed that a quote woman screamed at her. Uh huh. I bet she fell. Yeah. When she checked her room, she found no one there. Even creepier. Previous videos show the toddler being scared in her room before, seemingly staring at someone that we can't see. Now Sierra Casey believes she might have caught a ghostly encounter on camera, but worried TikTok viewers warn her that it could be something worse. 
A hacker. Ex of, of course she's bloody scared of, like, that thing. I mean, it could be a hacker, as you just said. People, actually, now he said that, now he said that, if you're not on, like, um, um, a safe kind of connection, hackers can go into these and potentially maybe make voices from them, maybe maybe make noises from them. So it could have it could have been it could have been that, but that, that could be like um, what I say, like a, an ace of the sleeve in case people are like no, you're doing it, and they're like, oh no, maybe it's maybe it's a hacker. But there there is that, I guess, right? It could be that. Safe connection, swapping default passwords as usual, yeah. Parents can speak using the cameras, yeah. Yeah, it, it could be. Why would hacker put that much effort to go bra? I mean, there's definitely sites out there where you can um, go into these places where I've been compromised. Like, I've, I, I've not, I, I knew about that about, like, five years ago, six years ago or something. Like, it is a thing. So it could be that. Accessing her ring. Like, it, it, like say there's a site that if you pay for, they give you access to this, you know, once again, motive, right? So the, the people hack into these cameras, um, the motive for them doing that is they can make money from people wanting to go on. And then they maybe, maybe they pay monthly or maybe they pay uh, to make a sound through these things. And they see a live reaction. Like, can't you see that? I could easily see that being a thing. It's quite evil. Oh yeah, pedos and creepers. I didn't think about that. I was just thinking about um, the sound, but yeah, that gets even darker. I heard that it could be something worse. Mm. A hacker accessing definitely her camera. Definitely, if it was not her doing it and it was that camera, change it, make it secure, right? Because it could be hacked. I, I do see that. So it's definitely not a spirit. No, no, no. Camera or something even more terrifying. A real person watching and scaring a little girl in her bedroom. We need scary video. It almost sounds like they're playing like a clip as well. Doesn't it? Like it sounds like almost two clips. So you have a hacker, you take the parents. Could be. It's either the parents doing it just because they want some um viral video on TikTok for some reason. Uh or it could be a hacker. But it's definitely not um spirits. So, in so my if opinion, you see anyway. a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Yeah, it sounds like a dot MP3 or something, yeah. Mill. While on a motorcycle road trip, Kenneth Statkin and his friend Justin decide to explore the ruins of Bayless Paper Mill in Austin, Pennsylvania. The paper mill was destroyed over 100 years ago when the nearby dam collapsed, sending a massive wall of water crashing down on the factory. Wow. 78 people lost their lives. Shit, that's now really it should sad. be noted that Kenneth and Justin are not YouTube paranormal investigators. They're not even urban explorers. They are just curious travelers passing through. I have to take his word for this. These people who go into these places to try and find something, I think have some of the least kind of uh, validity. Like, they're, they're the least believable because they have to find something. That's their content. Uh, it's like ghost hunters. They have to find something. It's their content. Um, it, the ones what have more validity, like that girl before, where she's just chilling with her friends and then all of a sudden she feels something get tapped. There's more validity to it because it wasn't planned, or at least we feel it, it wasn't planned, right? Uh, when they have to find something, it seems like it's it's gonna be way more fixed, right? Or way more fake. Would I visit one of these places? I don't know. Probably not. So the thing is, you could be like, oh, let's go to this spooky abandoned mental hospital or something, right? Um, oh, there might be ghosts. Well, what happens if there's not ghosts, but there's actually people there, and these people are manic or evil? That's that's scarier. I don't I don't think I want to mess with that, right? <laughs> So, oh, when the guys arrive Lost in town, they meet a yeah. local man who warns them that the Bayless Like, I, I'm more scared about that. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking stabbed. Well, ...is haunted by the victim's Yeah, they're more scared about and that. ...and that he has even had a paranormal encounter himself. That, you definitely think that place is haunted, Oh, yeah, most it? definitely. The paper mill's f***ing haunted as Because I went there the one night, me and my buddies, 
we all went over there and uh like something ran behind us no kidding on snapchat like he caught it on camera and everything kenneth and justin arrive at the paper mill and begin exploring the decaying structure just as the sun is starting to set on their day kenneth and his friend find the mill's dark basement and head down to check it out and this is when things take a very creepy turn oh my goodness and let's go down there and see what's happening you want to go down there? Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. No. Little did we know the experience we would have would leave chills running down the back of our necks the rest of the night. Dude, that voice is so oh, try hard. Get that lower, closer down here. There's a bone in the beaver dam there. Good. Holy oh, sh! See it right there? What is it? A bone. Bone. I don't see it. Oh, it is. <laughs> What the f Holy smokes. What was that? <laughs> Run. <laughs> it's going to be an animal again, isn't it? Explorers hear very bizarre sounds, and then a strange voice is heard from the darkness. It sounds very close by. What was that? Now, the first whimpering sounds could be explained away as simply the odd calls of some strange animal. However, the last sound is different. Is it's it? much louder and almost sounds like someone or something calling for help. Sounds closer. Hello? Yep, get the f out of there. <laughs> so the question is, if this was an animal, why would it come closer to the sound of people instead of just running off? Well, whatever it is, Kenneth and Justin are freaked out, and they decide to just get out of there. So considering the mill's tragic history, could it be that Kenneth accidentally captured the ghostly voice of one of the 78 people oh, who passed see. away when the Austin Dam collapsed? You decide. The haunt. I, I think it's one of the, I think it's an animal again. I, they sounded legit though, you know. That whoa, what it did. It, it feels like it was releasing a bit of adrenaline. And I don't think people are going to act that good again. Um, an owl, yeah. The sound was so clear. It got closer. It got closer, whatever it were. <laughs> These are the people that get tricked by the unknown. <laughs> I think it's an animal. Yeah, it could have been. It could have been like a homeless drug guy or anything. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it was supernatural though, but I, I do think it happened. Um, it looked like that, that, whoa, what he was doing was kind of, that was adrenaline, definitely. I think anyway. But no, not for supernatural. I don't think so. Like you're going into like this dog, like, yeah. Did Hill could, could be animal, could the be Hill um, House in Mineral Wells, Texas is drugs. said to be one of the most haunted locations in the U.S. The home is owned by Catherine and Edward Estes. I will know about this place, Haunted Hill House. Oh, dude, this is what I mean. They make a living from this. So they've got motive. He's going to say that they, uh, they rent it out or whatever, aren't they? Or something. Rent out the Hill House yeah. overnight so that they can have their own supernatural experience in the home. Visitors have reported hearing voices being scratched and bitten. And some have even had things thrown at them. The owners... There's too much motive. There's way too much more of red flag. Say that most guests get so freaked out that they leave early and often don't even make it through the night. Yeah, because you're doing it. Like, it's an experience you're creating because you're making money from it. So one night, a group of friends rent out the Hill House just to have a little spooky fun. 
Now, none of the group are paranormal investigators. In fact, they're not even really believers in the supernatural at okay. all. But that is But still, like, even though I'm a skeptic, if I went to one of these and there's someone like who's created this experience, which is really like organic feeling, I'm going to be shit scared. <laughs> it's like watching a horror. You know, a horror isn't real, but you can get fucking scared. Up to change. One member of the group, Victoria, lays down on a bed and jokingly starts to taunt one of the spirits that is said to haunt the house. We'll Needless to say, it did not go well. As you can see, she was yanked off the bed. This was not a fall. And then they ran out. We're going to rewind that and we're going to show you in regular screen. Hmm, that is weird. <laughs> Something seems to violently yank. But they're probably successful at it, so you know. Victoria, they, right they, they, the they do have that more to start with. Watch in horror. The security camera in the room catches the action as Victoria quickly gets to her. F you know what's really annoying? What's really annoying with these these kind of things? Why do ghosts like exactly know the perfect place to be to not be seen doing something? It's fucking so annoying. <laughs> like this guy stood perfectly there. <laughs> feet and the group just makes a run for it one of the guys is so panicked that he drops his phone and doesn't even stop to pick it up now cut to almost one hour later so it's around you. three in the morning and a guy named drew wants to test out the supposedly paranormal activity for himself he enters the same room and immediately begins to aggressively taunt the ghost he says that the spirit is the same look at room. that look at that room but again like i'm i'm a, I'm a skeptic but look at that room. It's horrible. <laughs> and immediately he begins to aggressively taunt the ghost. He says, "We doll stood the right there with like blood on or whatever." Here it is a coward. God. Coward. And that if it really wants to attack someone, why doesn't it attack a man? Same room. Look at the guy in the white hat right here, guys. Follow him. They're doing it. Wait. Is that the uh, the doll? That looks like the doll, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, it isn't. Did you see he got pushed? So, Drew gets his wish. He is violently shoved by something. And then he almost knocks down his two friends as he runs from the room. But it gets even weirder. Because as Drew and his friends run out, something seems to yank the door closed behind them. And if you watch closely, you can actually see the doorknob move as if it's being pulled. Yeah. Now, since these creepy incidents, the Haunted Hill House has gotten national recognition online and through various news outlets. Sean Gigi, a news reporter for local TV station WFAA, goes to the Hill House to interview the owners, Catherine and Edward. But what he doesn't know is that he too is about to have a paranormal experience, all caught by his own news camera. What was that? Did you hear that? In the middle of the interview, we heard something scratching. My microphone didn't pick it up very well, but I'm being completely honest when I tell you I heard it clearly. And the creepy incidents at the Haunted Hill House just don't seem to stop. Because remember Victoria who get yanked off the bed by some unseen force? Well, a year after her first terrifying visit, Victoria returned to Hill House again. And this time, something scratched her back so badly that her shirt was soaked in blood. So is the Hill House in Mineral Springs? Dude, why would you not show the whole thing? And this time, something scratched her back so badly that her sh Why would you not show her walking in with it not like that? Not touching. Her going like that and then being, what the hell? Fuck's sake, there's so Dirt annoying. was soaked in blood. So is the Hill House in Mineral Springs, Texas, one of the most haunted places on Earth? And would you stay overnight and taunt... I wouldn't. ...the spirits inside? Let me know down in the comments. If As I said, there's a motive for them to be that way and they make money from it. Um, they've done it well.
they've done it well. I mean, they, they haven't really left any holes. They've they've obscured vision. They haven't given the full kind of like video of stuff, which obviously is a bit red flaggy, right? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's annoying. <laughs> they've done it well. I understand why it's probably popular and they're doing well with it. Why would they not show the whole thing? It's so annoying. Uh, you once bought a doll from uh, Salvation Army, dirted up, uh, sold on eBay as a haunted doll that made you sick. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Would you go there, guys? Would you go to this place? You'd go there and would not be wor worried one bit. Is it 1K or something? Bloody hell. Yeah. I think it's just publicity. It's just to try and get more people to go there. But it, it was well done. I think it was well done. Fuck. No, I, I wouldn't go there, no. <laughs> Not alone. <laughs> Fuck that. <Close. laughs> Dude, if I watch a horror alone, I'll, I'll be, like, thinking well scary shit. I've got a very vivid imagination. Memo and Patty, a couple who explore haunted places in Mexico, visit a cursed forest where a woman mysteriously vanished <laughs> without a trace. Soon after this investigation, the couple begins to experience strange unexplained events in their home that absolutely terrify the entire family. No, mommy. No, seas mamador. No, seas mamón, No, 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 no. no. No, 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 no. When it's people uh, um, who uh, aren't speaking English, I can't tell how good or bad their acting is. By the way, it's hard. To, it's harder to to tell. No, no, no. Allá adentro no hay nadie. Eh? Se los juro que allá adentro no hay nadie, güey. El cuarto está completamente solo. Could be behind the door. Could literally just be here. Why do people think just opening the door like a bit just proves no one's in there? Like it's not fully, it's not fully closed. Or oh, sorry, open. They could literally be here. Oh. <laughs> Is that to Garrett Garrett? Here we are. Yes, yes, I grabbed it. Check it, and Patty begin to worry that the spirit of the woman who disappeared in the woods might have followed them home, restless and unable to move. They were a bit more organic. It's like they were waiting for something and then went straight like for it. Because they weren't pointing at the door, ready for the door. They were just having the re um the recording on, right? Ready for something. But how long would you have to be recording for if you think about it? Like, it could be hours, right? And then you'd have to cut it. Would they be recording for hours just standing there? Mm. Move on to the other side. The paranormal activity in the house becomes so intense that it even starts to wake them up at night. Must have been the wind. <laughs> ¿Quién eres y qué quieres? Espérate, espérate, espérate. Ten cuidado, te vas a caer. Ay, cabrón. Hay que bajar el Ay. El nombre es Yate. Te, te ordeno que te laves de nuestra casa. Oh, la madre. Holy moly, so the like I said. <laughs> when they hear the voice of a sobbing woman coming from somewhere in their home. Uh, Memo checks everywhere, but there's no one there. Now I should mention that Memo and Patty stream many of their paranormal encounters live on YouTube as they happen. 
They say that they want to prove that their experiences are real and absolutely terrifying. Mm. So cut to another night and the family is woken up again by sounds coming from outside their bedroom. Memo immediately starts locking- But this could legit be their content. Like this could be them as content creators, right? Their content creation is, oh, it's a haunted house. Live streaming from his phone. What happens next is downright chilling. Do an exorcism. What? I'm not seeing it. Window. Oh, that. I thought that was a painting. Is that not a painting? That's a window. Why would you have a window there? A mirror. It could be a mirror. Te despojo. Lárgate. Ser inmundo. Live viewers watch in horror as a woman's face can be seen looking in through a window. But that window is on the house's second floor. I what a weird place for a window. You've got a room right here. Does it just stop here? It's a weird place. Watch in horror as a woman's face can be seen looking in through a window. But that window is on the house's second floor. Memo is unaware of what has just happened. Then he finally reads through his live stream chat. La ventana. Oh, that. Yeah. En esa. Me dijo. En la ventana de las escaleras esa. ¿Qué vieron ahí? Sí, ¿qué vieron? ¿Qué vieron? ¿Qué había? ¿Qué había? Does it show his outside? Because he could Escalera. have it. He could have it where there's a potential balcony, right? And someone could just stand or, or like crouch here. Do you know what I mean? Like there's a, there's a door here that leads into a room and then, then that room has a door outside. It's got a balcony out here. In this I don't know. In the window of the escaleras, esa. ¿Qué vieron ahí? Sí, ¿qué vieron? ¿Qué vieron? ¿Qué había? ¿Qué había? ¿Pero qué? Ay, no. no, no mamen la, la mo... If death. No, no manches, Mira. no. Sí, no puede, es imposible que haya alguien ahí. Ah, parado. ok, here we go. Les voy a demostrar por qué. Ay, Dios, es una cosa baja, hija. Miren. No, miren, ahí está la ventana, ¿sale? Well, that's how she looks. Was it like a white face? Chicken. Is he zoomed in? ¿A dónde está la ventana? ¿Ya vieron? Was that the window? Sí. Le cae alguien. Es ahí parado y les voy a demostrar por qué. So now it's behind him. Behind him. Yeah. And then he goes to the left, so it'd be... No, so it's there, so... ahí está la ventana, ¿sale? Oh, he... Jalan aquí, Jato. And then it'd be up here. Chequense. ¿A dónde está la ventana? Yeah, it looks just like it's a... So I guess ladder, yeah? The door needs to nothing. Yeah, <laughs> what the fucking door does. Yeah, well, 
Where is that door going? <laughs> but he already looked in that room, he showed it. O sea, son aproximadamente como cuatro o cinco metros a la vez. I'm assuming there's like just a bit what comes up here. Ventana. Memo shows that it would have been impossible for anyone to look through the window on their second floor, as it's just way too high for anyone to reach. Window on their second floor, as it's just... Doesn't that kind of like her, though, who is with? A brownish hair, white, greenish. And what was she like? <laughs> And where'd she come from? She was upstairs. No. Kind of, right? And that kind of, like, kind of, kind of looks like her, doesn't it? Right? It's literally lying on their sofa. What is? The other thing. Miren. No, miren, ahí está. Sale. Jálale aquí, hijo. ¿A dónde está la ventana? ¿Ya vieron? O sea, son aproximadamente. Memo shows that it would have been impossible for anyone to look through the window on their second floor, as it's just way too high for anyone to reach. So just who or what is this? Memo and his wife don't know what they might have brought home from the haunted exploration of the woods. Is it a lost spirit looking for help or something more sinister? I don't, oh, I, I don't think they're legit. I think that is their content, personally. What do you think? I like think the crying as well, like... It's not bad. Yeah, bad quality once again. You can kind of see a creepy smile. Oh, yeah. Help or something more sinister. A night at the... So we're gonna find a good compilation next time, yeah. Museum. I mean, these are like bloody million views, but he's still fun, is unknown. Stupid The video watching. shows security guards at a museum somewhere in Kazakhstan watching the CCTV camera at 7.30 at night. <clears throat> the guards spot something absolutely unnerving. Why is it saying it's all like nonchalantly? Ram <laughs> A pale figure that appears to be wearing a white gown is curiously walking among the museum exhibits. The guards have no explanation for what they are seeing. They believe the mysterious... He's very calm. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I saw it. If you saw it, you would be... I can't remember what he said. Figure but he's is really calm. Ghost, but without a reliable source for information, we'll never know exactly what happened here. So is this a genuine paranormal encounter? As always... I leave that up to you to decide. As all, it's it's all one color though, right? Always like ref. <laughs> TV has one clip. It's just a visitor who's looking at things in a museum. Yeah, right. I leave that up to you to decide. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Nah, I'm gonna the say window nah. watcher. Popular <clears throat> urban explorer Colin from the YouTube channel The Bearded Explorer. That guy wasn't even trying to sound scared. He was just like, Yeah, it's the ghost. Yeah. Yeah, it's the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Like Explorer is traveling through France when he <laughs> finds the perfect abandoned house to explore. 
The two-story house has been abandoned. It was 1 a.m. Bose Dale outside. It yeah. seems that the former owner has left almost everything behind. Colin comes his exploration as he carefully walks through the house to discover its secrets. He takes photos and videos for his social media and eventually leaves, satisfied that he has documented everything of note inside the house. But it isn't until he looks back at the footage later that he discovers that he had missed something while filming the outro for his video. Something very spooky. The outro. There's going to be someone in the window. Right, guys, well, that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Export underscore. Also, go and check out the Facebook page. Like always, I've put all the pictures on Facebook. Ten of us on Instagram, and I'll see you on next week's video. Someone can be seen peeking out the window from behind a curtain. Now, I have carefully watched Colin's entire uncut video, and there is absolutely no sign of anyone inside that house. From the moment Colin enters, no sound of movement can be heard. The only noise is from Colin himself as he wanders around the house. Even creepier, this is not the only strange thing that he captures on video during this visit. After he posts the video to YouTube, one of Colin's sharp-eyed viewers spots something truly bizarre. So we'll start with this one first because this one looks like it's got a lot of stuff inside and it has I've got some more photographs here, look. The ceiling is completely covered in mold. Mm. Bit of condensation up in the corner again. And look at this, the cupboard completely filled with clothes still. Was something shown then? It's the cupboard. Bit of condensation up in the corner again. And look at this, the cupboard. Is it this? Maybe it's something there. Is it is it feet? They don't look like feet though. It's, I'm pretty sure it's what the shadow would create. Possibly. But it might not be that. Completely but it might be. With clothes still. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. It looks as if something's been climbing in. Oh, God. Let me see with it. Still. Look at this. The cupboard. Compl so that's that. Absolutely amazing. That. It looks as if something's been climbing in. Oh, God. I mean, the bag just hit my leg. <laughs> I thought someone tapped my leg. Um, it looks as if something's been climbing in here and sleeping in here, maybe. Did you see it? So it is that. In the reflection of a cupboard mirror in a bedroom, a pair of feet can be seen standing underneath the window curtain, almost as if someone is hiding behind the curtain. But when Colin pans the camera back towards the curtains, the mysterious the feet are gone. Also, if we look back at the footage from a couple of minutes before, there were no feet there when Colin entered the bedroom. Yeah, so but when he's closer, on. he's got a light on. So when he's closer, it creates this. Right? So it could have just been a certain... Um, it looks as if something's been... It could have just been the light shining at the, uh, the mirror, right? Cupboard. As he opens it. Condensation up in the corner again. Like he's shining it's a light. Covered. He's shining a light at the mirror. It's possibly like bouncing off and then hitting this and then creating that, right? That's what I think. Yeah, it literally looks like it. Like it's there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, it looks exactly like it. There's condensation up in the corner again. Oh, look at this, the cupboard. It's where they both are. And look, there's a bit here. So it's not like feet, it goes like this. And that's probably that, maybe. Nah, man. Completely filled with clothes. It's what I said it is, I think. And I like how he's like, when he looks in the room, at a completely different angle, there's no light there. Oh, well, there's no shadow there. Yeah, because the light's not shining in the Absolutely same spot. amazing. Look at that, it looks as if something's been climbing in. Oh, God. And then you can see here, 
Like it's the light looking down at it, look. I mean, in the bag, just hit my leg. It's not like there's a light on, is it? Yeah, he's got, like, he's got a um, bright light on. It looks as if something's been climbing in here and sleeping in here, maybe. Did you see it? In the reflection of a cupboard mirror in a bedroom, a pair of feet can be seen standing underneath the window curtain. Almost That's... as if someone is hiding behind the curtain. But when Colin pans the camera back towards the curtains, the mysterious feet are gone. Also, if we look back at the foot- But you can see them coming back, the, the mysterious feet. You can see them coming back, look. Watch, when, when he when he starts going further. The mysterious feet are gone. Look, oh, they're appearing though. They're coming back. Oh. <laughs> also, if we look back at the- <laughs> And then he's like, oh, when he shines a light underneath though, there's no shadow looking down. Yeah, because the light's not shining down at it, the fuck. <laughs> from a couple of minutes before, there were no feet there when Colin entered the bedroom. <laughs> so, did the urban explorer actually well, captured did you see it? Not one, but yeah, I saw two the light. Paranormal on that camera. one's a weird one. Let me capture but it is probably. One, but two. It's probably just the wind, that one, where just a, a gust of wind has just, just hit it Paranormal. at just a perfect time. More events on camera? That's what that probably Let is. Let me know. You can watch this entire exploration. As I say, I'm a skeptic, man. I'll look for the, the, the rational, the logical explorer. things before anything else. Night Watch. A security guard working at a factory in Mexico is confused when he meets the new. Uh, you can see the wind on the sticks. Oh, yeah? Let me know. Yeah, you can. You can. Paranormal events on camera? It's and definitely like very windy. One, very, very windy. Look at that. It's going crazy. It's well windy. There are no more events on camera. Let me know. Yeah, you can it's watch wind. this entire exploration and many more over on the YouTube channel. So I, I don't. I don't think um, he will try and wait unless that's it. That's the same house, right? Is that the same house? Because if it isn't, it's one of these people who just... An explorer. Air explorer on the air camera. Or Green. watch Floyd YouTube channel. The bearded explorer. It looks similar. Yeah, 50k views. Or... Hmm. Um, I'm just trying to work out. I, like, obviously, I don't think it's a ghost, but I'm just trying to work out: is he trying to, uh, like, is a lot of his content finding these ghosts, or is it um, just kind of a, a kind of accident? What happened to what he noticed? I think it might have been accident. I think they've they've seen the wind and be like, oh, that's a bit spooky, right? Uh, and then they've seen the shadow, <laughs> and then they've they've kind of added them together to make it this bigger thing. But night yeah. watch. No, that's that's my a thing. security guard working at a factory in Mexico is confused when he meets a new employee that no one, not even his boss, has told him about. The next day, he complains to a coworker about the odd conversation he had, only to be told that there is no new employee. When they check the building's security footage, they are shocked. It's clear in the footage that the guard has a full-on conversation with no one. He pulls out the chair next to him and waves for whoever he's talking to to come sit down. And that's not all, because did you see it? Right as the guard pulls out the chair, a dark figure with arms and legs seems to move past him and then disappear into thin air. Figure with arms. Did you see it? Right as the guard pulls out the chair, a dark. Hmm. Could be something above though. Arc figure with arms and legs seems to move past right as the guard pulls out the chair. Because it's following this line. 
Here, a dark figure with arms and legs seems to move past him and then disappear into thin mm. air. So it did go up there. Many believe that to move past him and then dis pulls out the chair. A dark figure with arms and legs seems to move past him and then disappear into thin air. Many believe that the security guard was talking to the ghost of an old employee who might have passed away at the factory. Maybe even someone who had a fatal accident on their first day of work. But one question, if he's like this old uh, employee, you don't know him or anything like that, why does it give him such a kind of like, I know this person handshake? He goes like that and then that, right? Like that's not a first person handshake, is it? Like you don't go, ch, boat, right? It's like seeing an old friend. Yeah, right? Look. So, boom, and then douche. Oh, that's way too high. It's like he's fucking slapping him almost. That's not where your hand would be. Sit like up here. And then... Nah, I don't look right. Or oh, they're just like being stupid and pretending he's talking to someone and just record it because lol. This is why I want people to be fucking truthful. Full for whoever dark figure with arms made away at the factory. Maybe even someone who had a fatal accident on their first day of work. But is this a real ghost caught on camera? Or not. That is up to you to decide. Thanks so much for watching. Maybe watch one of these videos and I'll Yeah. <clears throat> um you got my take on that one. Um it just looks like literally he's uh he's just been put up to doing it, like for some reason. Right? Doing, yeah, I mean, he, he could have some mental issues, maybe, or could be on drugs, as someone said. But I don't feel like it's a ghost, right? And I don't think anyone were there. Like, I don't think someone were edited out. Like, it's very, it's very strange. Can we even trust the guy telling the stories now? Yeah, what were the best one? I think the best one was uh, those. If you did, if you didn't see it. Um, oh god, that was bad. This one, this was the best one. After posting, not. But it could have literally just been something dropped something on her. Forcibly touch her back. She jumps up and turns around, expecting someone to be there, perhaps playing a prank. There's no one. But did you see it? Well, probably not, because this video looks like it was shot with a potato. Mm, but after course. posting the video to Instagram... You know what's going to be interesting? When, um... I mean, we have already got really good video, but when there's, like, no excuse to have bad video, like, everyone just has really good video, like, you can't get bad, um, you know, video recorders. Um, are they still going to show bad video recording? <laughs> When, when he's ghosts, because that would be a bit, a bit strange, wouldn't it? Nah, th this this was definitely real. Um, if it was a ghost or not, this video looks know, like it was shot with a potato. Obviously. But this, this but definitely looks the real. Video to Instagram, Even her reaction to a friend, and, and to then a friend kind of freaks out a bit. Video to because uh, looks very real to too. Perhaps reaction. playing a prank. There's no then she one. says to here like, dude, I just, I just feel something. Obviously, she said, dude, but you know. Dude, I just, I just felt like something like actually touched me, um, and then she's like, "But well, did you absolutely touch?" Here we go, dude. I swear to God, something just touched me, and then she's like, "Oh no, 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 no! I'm, I, I don't want any of that," you know. Um, and she's kind of laughing nervously, so it looks, yeah, that I think that looks legit. So what I would say is, I think this is the best one, uh, and this is the worst by far. This was fucking horrific. Uh, so there you go. Bit of a, a true reacts right there. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying them. Um, what's this called? Nothing crazy though, right? 
Yeah, of them at least. The house one were alright as well, actually. Now that I remember. Uh, they've done well. I, I'm i assuming they're quite successful. They've, because they, they have done quite well with it. Need a true two channel for your reacts, you reckon? Maybe. Maybe. Um... All right. Well, we'll finish off with the reacts um, and call it a session there. Usually I do like one or two games after, but it is uh, getting a bit late. So, appreciate you. Um, if you enjoyed, remember to Froze follow. I am live every single day. Um, actually, wait, I'll do that, don't I? Um, we got uh, Ermac tomorrow. So, we'll be checking him out. Uh, and we also have a sponsor as well. So... Um, I need to get that all sorted, but I should have that sorted for, for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, love yous, appreciate ya. Frozen and follows, subscribe on YouTube, especially on YouTube for YouTube content. Um, uh, especially on Twitter as well for Twitter stuff. Check that out. And yeah, appreciate all the support, all the tips, all the bits, all the subs. I'll see you on the stream, all right? Love ya.